To renew this for season four, we need 8,000 likes for this video. If not, we're gonna start something new fresh, but if you love Brown's franchise, you wanna see this team on the podium, kill the like button, let's go. This has been a absolute dumpster fire through two years. We've had 18 different quarterbacks. We've lost in the playoffs to the same player twice. I'm throwing jerseys, I'm losing my mind, and that is why I love Brown's franchise. Going into this season, however, Shadur Sanders, great rookie year. He's going into his second year, his sophomore year. It's time to elevate, get him to X Factor, make him the goal. He's got Luke McCaffrey to throw to, Jimmy Horn Jr., Jerry Judy coming off of an absolutely unbelievable year. Our defense is young, fast, talented. We got decisions, free agency, Nick Chubb. We got to decide are we going to pay him. Browns year three, guys. It has been a movie so far, these first two seasons. Let's make it a good movie and not just a sad movie, and let's go win the bowl. Let's go. Browns fans, I just, I know the first two seasons ended poorly. I got you. I'm going to do everything I can to get on that podium. I'm going to do everything I can to see Shadur Sanders and Nick Chubb up there on that podium. I will not quit. So please continue to hit the like button. If you want more Browns franchise, 8,000 likes, we'll unlock the next one. Guys, we are in free agency. The team looks a little bit different. Um, we lost David Njoku and we lost our superstar left guard. We also lost our, um, our tackle, Jack Conklin. We no longer have Jack Conklin on the team. Um, I had to cut him to save money to be even able to sign some of our other guys. If you watched the end of last video, I had to pay Martin Emerson Jr. He was incredibly expensive. Um, I had to franchise tag Nick Chubb to even bring him back for one year. I could not watch Nick Chubb leave, especially considering he still has the X Factor ability. If he didn't have that, I maybe, but this is your franchise player. I did everything I can to keep him. Uh, I did everything I could to keep him. Now, going into this free agency, we have $30 million. However, we have lots of people that need to be paid this year. Um, it's almost a trap. So, there is like, we could spend, but if we're spending $11 million on any of these guys, I just don't think I'm the brightest bulb in the box. If you know what I mean? Like, I still feel like we're broke. And every single year, we're losing players. The thing is, David Njoku, if I really wanted to bring him back, I maybe could offer him 50 million, but I was kind of content with it. I saved about 30 million when I just cut Watson. I took a massive penalty in doing it, but I don't know if that's really what I want to do. Chagosia Mukwanu um, could be a really good tight end to bring, or we draft one. That's kind of the way I'm looking. We do have $31 million, but the most practical use of that money, bar none, by far, is trying to get a replacement at right tackle. If we go into this year without a right tackle, we are going to be done. Conklin has never been that great. Abraham Lucas is pretty young. Okay, left tackle, Trevor. We're just gonna hop right into this. We're just gonna start talking right now. We're in free agency one as it stands. Taylor Decker, David Bakhtiari. I want a cheaper version, like a nine million, but see, maybe I'm better off going with like a Kevin Dotson. He would fill the hole of a guard. He's not gonna be, no, he is somewhat sought after. For only $8 million, that's not a bad, that's not a bad play. You could offer him a player friendly and see what he does. He seems like a pretty good player. Um, win lineman of the year. The other position last year that we really, really didn't have a true edge rusher was opposite, we had Miles Garrett, and then I had this kind of random dude who did really well because he was playing with Miles Garrett, but then didn't get any development because he's not young and he's not overly that, overly good. So it's left me in a position where like, okay, do I try and get younger at that position or should that be kind of my main position that I'm looking for in the draft? Like, should I prioritize over anything finding an edge rusher? But right now I look, I don't see a lot. I'm not, when I look at these players, nobody's gonna come in and be just like, 
instant, okay, this is smart. It's a good use of money. No, none of them are. And a lot of them are old. Gross Matos is actually solid. He's only 27 high interest in playing for us, but he's a bronze, 72. Even though he's going to be tough, and I know he'll get sacks, he's never going to develop or get much better. Karloftis, he wants $24 million a year as an 86 overall, 80 speed guy. You just can't justify that. Quiddy Payne, I'd love to bring him in, but as a 27 year old, you can't pay 16 million for Quiddy Payne. These are the things, these are the issues that you kind of run through, uh, which brings us back to, okay, do we try and maybe pick up a tight end in free agency? You got a Chigozia Mokwanu, who I don't know if I find a Chigozium in free agency. However, He's not exactly like the smallest contract, nine million a year. Like if I were to offer him money, yeah, I'm look, I'm spending nine million a year on a so-so tight end. At that point, I'd rather just try and bring back David Njoku because he's just such a big part of the team. But Njoku seems to really want to come back. And after we cut Watson, we go on money back. Oh, but I just feel like I need to move on. Onwards and upwards. But I want him back. Okay, receiver-wise, there's some burners in here. Jalen Waddell's got a lot of interest. Scary Terry. Shahid's 96 speed. All of these guys could help us out a lot as well. Do I bring back Najoku if we're running this thing back? But I, I, I wouldn't pay him for four years. I'd pay him for one. Okay, I'm going to offer on Najoku. Sorry, we, the 30 million is making you guys think that we're not broke. We are. Trust me of how many people I have to pay. We are still incredibly broke. Um, so position in the draft, we're picking at about pick number 20 some, which obviously these lottery picks are not gonna be an offer. We can try. I'm all for making phone calls, trying to move up. A tackle is kind of one of the things on my top priority. It seems like this is a really good tackle draft. You look at Wiggins, you got Teague, Alford, Marco Meadows, Rob Dawson, you have a ton of tackles in the top 14 of this draft. I feel like I could get one of them where we're picking, which that's kind of the most tempting thing for me is just to kind of like play this thing smart, try and pick up a new tackle, replace Jack Conklin, and ensure that we're getting better on the offensive line. Because if you don't have an O-line, you're nothing in this league. And you're gonna play against TSAP and Will Anderson and you're just gonna be crying as he runs at you and hit sticks you for minus six because you have Joe Schmo from who played for Northern Idaho at tackle. We need a better tackle. So this is the roster as it stands. We have a great one-two punch. Jerry Judy, what a season he had last year. I don't feel like receiver is really a position that I would go after unless, honestly, the thing we don't have is a burner. But we don't really need a burner, but you could argue we lost, so we do. This is where we're bad. Four. Look at our front. Like, look, Jones is playing two. Jones is playing three positions. If that tells you how bad our O-line situation is, oh my gosh, he's playing three spots. I don't think I should offer on a joke. I think I need to be offering on linemen. My goodness. Okay, he's literally going to be exhausted playing tight end and left guard. How do you even do that? Um, Tyke Smith went up. Payne was a really, really, really exciting player last year. I'm pumped about him, but looking at what I just saw, that should scare you. That should scare you. And that, that's gonna make me pull my offer. Even though I could get Njoku, I'm gonna pull my offer for Njoku. And I think I need more than anything to try and pick up some type of another guard. Alex Kappa, Conklin, I could try and bring him back. Taylor Morton, Taylor Moten. Okay, what about... I feel like tackle we draft. Now that I'm looking at this... Bra huh? Braxton's pretty good. He would be this, he'd be very similar price. Braxton would be really similar price. I just don't know if he accepts that offer. Okay, I am going to play this really lame. I'm bidding on Dotson and Braxton Jones. I might give him a little more, try and see if he'll sign. But okay, that's gonna be my free agency one. Okay, so I am, uh, I'm actually not calling about a trade talk. Um, 
I'm doing a paper for one of my um, classes in school about persistence and like never giving up after constant failure. And I was wondering if I could ask you some questions. <laughs> Bro, what? Like if I could like kind of do a mini interview, like it's about like how even though you might lose over and over and over again, <laughs> not giving up. And that's, I was just curious if I could do a little mini interview. At some point, it doesn't have to be right now. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, let's actually talk trade talks. You have picked number four, so you must have had a really good year. Yeah, definitely. Okay, who who on my team do you want? I'm willing to I'm willing to trade players. Yeah. What? I want Miles Garrett. You don't get Miles Garrett. You wouldn't even know what to do with Miles Garrett. <laughs> you sure, brother? Is your offer Miles Garrett for pick number four? Nah, 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 nah. nah. You 100 nah, percent would do that. Nah, don't nah, act nah, tough nah, like nah, you wouldn't nah, do nah. that in a heartbeat. I never said pick four was moving. Okay. Do you only, want... Wait, only way that, that's moving if you add a second. I'm and not I'm trading you Miles Garrett in a second. I, do you want my it's first round top, pick? It's a top five pick. Yeah, I know. Do you want my first round pick? For Miles Garrett? No. For somebody else. I would trade my first for some players. Uh, 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 let me tell you who moving though. Right? Rod Moore. I do it for Rod Moore. The safety. Yeah. Go first. For a first. Uh, let me think on that. What What about um, Andrew Thomas? I was actually thinking about him. Yeah, you you can have him. Take him. Andrew yeah, I know Thomas. he's on the last year of his deal, and I can't afford him. Though. Uh, That's the thing. I would I would I give you a. Somebody with him. I'd give you a third for Andrew Thomas, and I would, be, and that would be generous. A second, unless we do. I don't have a second. I don't know. He's a $20 million, I can't even make the trade. I'm broke, dude. You got to remember, I'm broke. All right. You want, you want Isaiah Simmons? Ooh, Isaiah Simmons? Yeah. I'm not even using him, bro. I know. I don't know if I'd use him either. What what for Isaiah Simmons? I'd love to have him on the team. Yeah, third. Okay, I'll I'll get back to you on that. I might do that. Okay, we'll we'll think about it. We're I'm just like I like to go into every year, get into some conversations. Oh, free agency. I think Sam. I think we're about to find. Did we get any of our free agents? Oh, we. I think we did. Wait, holy smokes! I think we got my signings. Yeah, Dotson and Braxton Jones. Brett Barrett, reliable, on time, smart. That's all the, the characteristics of myself. All those things. Beautiful. That, I love that. So that's going to help because we, we did not have a tackle on our roster. Jones, who's younger, we now fill a couple. I still need a tackle because I don't feel like Morgan can just carry us by himself. I get a really good deal for Elijah Higgins. Whether or not he's going to be our tight end, I don't know, but I actually think he's quite solid. Uh, I'm going to keep talking. going to keep calling people. See what's up. What's up, dude? What's up, man? How are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. I was waiting for your call. Okay. What do you got for me then? I was looking, you know, uh, that Emerson is his name, the CB. Hang on. Let me look at your squad. What team are you again? Wait, you oh, don't... You're the... You're the horrible Browns. Huh? Oh, you're the Rams no, no, with the... Um... No money on that side, huh? Oh, no money. Oh. What do you have on your side? Oh, wow, the crazy. fifth overall pick, which means... <laughs> How did your season go? Yeah. yeah. How many Super Bowls do you have with the Browns, man? Yeah. How many do you have in your whole life? None. But yeah, no. see? I would bet, I I would bet my house, right my now, truck... Please. And everything I own that you never win a Super Bowl. That's how I feel. And we can lock that in. Let's lock it in then. Okay, lock it in. Okay, so um, I know you're calling for pick five, right? Well, for no. Sure. I'm not not necessarily. No. Okay. 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 I'm more just All like, right. I want to trade back. I, you know, I want to I wanna help everybody else out. I'm not yeah. a me guy. I'm a, I'm a everybody else guy. I want... A phone call to me is never about me. I'm trying to help it, other people, and then if I if something good happens, it happens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, give me Miles Garrett for the fourth. Oh. Or the fifth. Would you really do that? 
I would actually do that. Yeah. Really. Really. Oh man. Okay. I'm uh I'm sending that over. Actually. Yeah. Okay. Just one last thing. Yeah. Hang up. Kick rocks. People want Miles Garrett for the fifth overall pick. Kick rocks, Rams. Hanging up on him every single time. Hope he loses every single game. Okay. I'm happy with this. I don't know. Like, I could try and move to, like, 13. But for the positions that I want, I don't feel like... I want to try and get a second. I just don't know what gets me a second. Elijah Higgins is good there. We helped out our line. We can kind of see as we go. Um, but I think, yeah, the draft's about to start. We'll talk as we go. Oh, we got a call back. Hey. Hey. Hey, you called right. back. Yep. Sorry, I... I uh, this pick. What? I need to get rid of this pick. See, I, don't, I don't like it. You just lost like all your five. leverage, bud. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's levels to like, this negotiation I was, I was just, stuff. I was just testing the water. No, dude, now you want to come back and you want to say, oh, I'd take Emerson for it. Is that what, is that what you're going to say? Yeah, kind of. I know. And you're first. No. No? No. No. Why? Because I don't want to do that. All right. What about Denzel? He's a little bit older. He's on the older side of things. Yeah. Do you just want my 94 speed superstar DB? Oh, is yes. that all you want? 5'11". You know what? How tall are you? I'm going to watch you make this pick. I'm six foot four. How tall are you? 11, so I could probably. Oh gosh, am I on the clock? Oh, no, I'm not on the clock. So, do you not want this pick then? You're about to this... be on the clock, and I'm gonna listen on the phone as you make a horrible decision, and you live with the fact that you could have traded with me. <laughs> Dude, take this pick. No, I'm not man. taking your pick. <laughs> too much pressure. You fold like a cheap I, tent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to fold we'll see like you at the pick. Tent. All right. I'll, I'll see you in the Super Bowl, bud. Okay. He just drafted Brody Brooks. I'm going to call him back. Sorry. There's a lot of phone calls going on here. What Yo, pick? How's, how's Brody? Brody? How's Brody? Brody Brooks. Is he good? Hidden dev. He's amazing. Okay. Cool. He's amazing. Yeah. Oh, I, I like hope my, so. Oh, I love my pick. Oh. 6'5". Oh, oh, wow. He's taller than you. 278, twice the man you'll ever be. He's what? 21 six years old. He's seven inches taller South than you. Carolina. Yeah. Yeah, he you, is actually. Is that your? Uh, is that your kid? Uh, my niece. Baby city, niece. my niece right now. Uh, yeah, and then this, my kids on the other side watching Ratatouille right now. <laughs> do they ever get sick of watching you like lose? Do they ever wish that, that you <laughs> like win a game? Uh, actually, yeah, they do. <laughs> they they see me rage. I think yesterday I might have broken my controller, so I might need to go get a new one. But, um, never mind. Well, hey, pleasure doing business. Ahead. Have a great season, Steve. Hey, yeah, for sure. You too. Bro. Best of luck. Good guy. Steve's a good guy. Okay. We got to actually talk about our draft pick because I'm staying at 24. So far, a lot of these linemen are still here. Um, running back is not a real important position. I'm not going to draft receiver in the first round. I want to show you guys the tight ends to show you why I don't believe that I will take one. None of them really appeal to me. Chuck Hecht is probably the best one, but it doesn't look like an overly stacked tight end class. Lineman Alex Wiggins. Skills, A to C awareness, Marco Meadows. Marco Meadows actually looks quite solid. A awareness, Thomas Dillinger, A to C awareness. This is where all the depth is to me in this draft. It's all in this O line, like A to C, Aaron Gandy, B awareness, Jamie Phillips, A awareness. I could probably rebuild our entire offensive line in one draft. Um, Thomas Landry, A awareness, A pass block, A pass block power. B run block power, Kalen Loud, A, like you're just seeing a lot of super, super, super good picks um, at this position. But I also need to understand that there's other positions of need as well that I, I feel like we can work on. Defensive end, bringing in somebody for Miles Garrett to kind of mentor could be something that's really important, like having a player that we can sort of just get better and we're stats action. Someone like Mitch Patterson, boom, right here. A awareness, A finesse move. That's huge. At six foot four, two sixty, Paul Springs. Oh my gosh! Elite speed, elite acceleration. A awareness, B to D finesse move. These are the players I'm going to be looking at, and we'll see you guys when we pick. Okay, so 
Oh, right now the player that I'm most intrigued with is Paul Springs, four four nine elite speed, elite acceleration, a awareness edge rusher, to play on the other side. I don't necessarily feel like this is just a pick. To me, this is a necessity. Look at how many good linemen are still here. I think with this first pick, I play this and I get a good edge rusher in Paul Springs, four four nine elite speed, elite acceleration, a awareness. Boom. Love that. Absolutely love that. 86 speed, 89 acceleration, 83 strength. First round pick. I bet his finesse move is going to be at least decent. It's B to D finesse move. I think that's a good pick at this spot. We need a young edge rusher to kind of go in there, play on that side. We have two studs in Damon Payne and Miles Garrett to bring in a third guy who hopefully the other two get doubled all the time. He goes, has a great rookie season, and gets better for us. I love this pick. Now, we don't have a second-round pick, and I don't have much leverage to get one. So our next pick in this draft is in the third round. I don't love that. So I'm going to try and call around and see if I can maybe swing a second for somebody. Hopefully. Okay, I'm calling you back for a reason. I want a second-round pick. Pick any, pick any player on the team. I just want to get into the dance. What team are you, Browns? Browns, yeah. I'm just trying to get into the dance. I can pick any player. Well, let's just pick one and then we'll see if I'll say yes or no. Um, let me look at your team. Oh, I would. No, I couldn't trade him. Tell me. Tell me. No. Talk. Kevin Dotson, my left guard. I would, I would trade him, but... No, I shouldn't. No, forget I forget I said anything. Kevin Dotson, you would have to give me a first round pick to take him. Okay, what about Johnny Dixon? Five eleven, one ninety three, ninety two speed DB, star dev, star dev. Star dev. Yeah, star dev. No way. And then I'll lab with you. He sucks. Okay. He's number ninety three, and he's a corner. Yeah. Well, he just. He was late to the training camp. Uh, I need to change that. That's not the type of guy I want to make. Okay, what about Kalen Barnes for your second and your third? I already have a 98 speed corner. I'm good. You suck. You suck. You suck. Honestly, you suck. You suck. You suck. You can give me your first next year. No. Dude sucks. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to just... I'm trying to get into the dance. You don't have to... I don't have to, like... I'm not trying to party. I'm just trying to, even if I could pick, well, I'm going to start, honestly, I'm going to start going for another third. I would go for another third. What's yeah. up, dude? What's good? What, did you just wake up? No. Are you sad? Why would I be sad? I don't know. You sound kind of sad. I'm not sad. You happy? Yes. I just That's lost good. my voice from yelling at this game. I feel that. Okay, I want your second or your third. Pick any player. Any player. Well, not really. Okay. Chill. Okay. I'm just trying to get into the dance. Uh, I'm assuming devs are off the table. I don't really... I don't even want these picks for real. I'm not going to use them. Well, then I might be the right guy to talk to. See, I knew you were sad. I'm not sad. Elijah Higgins, Braxton Jones. Just give me a give me a next year's exchange. Next year what? Give me an exchange for next year. My second next year for your second this year? Yeah. Dang. Pleasure doing business, man. Uh, That's actually a pretty decent deal because I'm taking a later second. Okay, I'll I'll do it. Pick exchange. Set. Nothing like a good old pick exchange. The world was built on pick exchanges. 100%. Okay, now I actually am going to be in the dance. You could tell he, had, he didn't have any. He wasn't planning on even picking. Okay, now I want to look through. Let's look through the receivers because this is always fun. Receivers. Dante McLean, Tyrone Eldridge, Matt Simmons, David Barrington, Darius Carroll, Keegan McGrath, Emmanuel Pearson. Elda, Larry Rice, Jonathan Clements, Demarius McCain, Eddie Jackson, Floyd Nix, Taylor Forbes, Nick Keys, Fonzo Mabin, 
Nate Woodley, Chris Feeney, Jaquan, Zach Buller, Leslie Weldon, Jamie Bo, Stanley Miner, Carl Walden, Adonis Carey, Jeremy Burton. See a whole lot of nothing. Okay, this sucks. I don't see anybody there that I like. And I know I did that probably too fast. But there was nobody there that I was like, oh yeah, this is like, what about Taylor Forbes? Forbes, best receivers rated. I don't think I'd use this pick, honestly, on a li another lineman. We'll see once we get to it, but I, I, I would. This Jamie Phillips looks really good. Dude, he used the pick and declined my trade and texted me, ha ha. That's gotta be the coldest move I've ever seen. I love that. He used the pick and then just sent me a text saying, ha ha. It's the most wild thing I've ever seen. But you can't help but appreciate that. A pick swap? What am I, dumb? Obviously he's not gonna do a pick swap. Okay, we don't pick until round three, pick 24. Okay, Chiefs just said in the chat they'll do their third for a third and a fourth next year. And I am going to be the first to try and send it and hope that, he's, hope that he accepts. I'll do that in a heartbeat, 100%. He's, it's a late third. Oh, the draft's paused. It's a late third, but it's a third nonetheless. Okay, now we have back-to-back -back thirds. So, we need to find something here. I, I, I don't know what to draft. Okay, we got back-to-back -back picks here. Oh, I can't even. Whew. Hmm, whoa, 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 whoa. I want a new user bad. Is that Richard Edmonds? Yes, sir, that's actually an amazing pick. 6391 speed as a user is clutch. Don't at me, don't talk to me, I don't care about your overall. I need a new user, That's he's tall and good. I love that. Remember, we don't have a fourth round pick, so I just traded. I, I'm doing everything I can to just get some something in this draft. Okay, let's look at tight ends here and see if we can maybe get a replacement. Four seven. Leo Murphy, six foot five, great speed. Be awareness. He doesn't look horrible. Is there any like? I liked my receivers from last year though. Feel quite happy in my receiving room, and I don't want to bring in a new receiver. Ezekiel Sprinkle. I love that name a lot. What about Percy Dixon? Good speed, great acceleration, power back. Is, that's kind of nuts. If we're talking about getting used to the transition without Nick Chubb, do we kind of prepare in advance for this? Sammy Woodbury. I feel like the value isn't horrible with... Um, this Percy Dixon guy, 5'10", 230, and a 43840. B trucking, A stiff arm. What's his change of direction? I don't know. On the off chance, I'm gonna I'm gonna take him. That's actually dang. Okay, we low key maybe just found our replacement. Yeah, he looks fire. That might be our replacement for Nick Chubb. Six. 5'10", 230, and 91 speed. I, I love that pick. Draft recap. Let's find out how exactly we did with our three picks. We had little, oh my gosh. Okay. Springs was a stud. Edmonds, wow. I actually think we killed this draft. Percy Dixon, to me, looks like the replacement for Nick Chubb. 91 speed, hidden, top 230. Paul Springs, I really like him. 75 speed rusher. 90 acceleration and Richard Edmonds is our new user. We didn't have a lot of picks because we traded them all last year to go get Shadur Sanders. But overall, I feel like this was kind of a win. Yeah, I think we got three new starters and Percy Dixon, if I can get even anything for Nick Chubb, I might, if I think I can be just as good with Percy Dixon, I'll, I'll trade him. Guys, boom fellas, week number one. Fun in the sun. I realized that that safety that I drafted, Rashard Edmonds, Edmonds um, is actually a, uh, what's it, what am I trying to say? He's actually a DB. Did nobody want to tell me that? I wish I could have live coach. I thought he, I thought I drafted a safety. And for whatever reason in my head, he was a safety when I drafted him. I don't know, maybe I'm losing it, but he's a corner. So it's like he's significantly less 
valuable. Um, I'll show you guys the rookies that I'm most excited about. It was a bit of an... I don't know how to describe this offseason. We're still going to make moves. The player that I want to play the most is this dude. Percy Dixon. I want to give him carries, see how good he is, and see what we got. Um, Paul Springs. I'm also so incredibly excited to see him kind of like playing on that side, playing on that left side, trying to dominate, do our thing, uh, and hopefully win games. If you see who we play week number one, this game has a sick sense of humor. Um, the way I look at this year is this is the Shadur Sanders breakout. We didn't get a chance to get him to superstar. He's still starred up. Even though he had an amazing, amazing, amazing year last year, I'm shocked um, that despite all the success that we had, he's still a star development guy. We get plus one throw power, which just means we got a lot of work to do to finish his upgrade and get a true kind of franchise quarterback here. I believe that he is it. Uh, Braxton Jones, who we signed in free agency, he gets two... Um, I can upgrade. Um, I'll just save his upgrade for after. Ooh, let's go. This is what's exciting. This season is going to be the first season that Luke McCaffrey is finally going to get some abilities. Now, it's going to be a while before he, I think he gets matchup nightmare, but Luke McCaffrey, the entire last season, he pretty much just had nothing. Nothing cool for his abilities. Now he's got some actually usable stuff, which is awesome to see. Grant Delpit gets an upgrade. He's going to go up to an 86 overall, plus two awareness, plus one zone coverage. Um, Kalen Barnes is star dev. Love him. He just keeps getting better. He's, he's just the gift that keeps on giving. He just keeps getting better. Star development. Okay. Depth chart. Let's talk new players. Let's talk what we're going to do with Nick Chubb and everybody. I am wanting to potentially trade Nick Chubb to a contender and get picks and start Percy Dixon, or have Percy Dixon get better this year and play him next year. Receivers staying very much the same. Elijah Higgins takes over as our main tight end. I love that trade that I made to a team that he, he really hadn't got even a chance to play on. Um, Braxton Jones goes there. Left guard, we signed. Um, is Kevin Dotson. Wyatt Teller will go there. Kevin Dotson's gonna take over as left guard. Center, Dewad Jones, and then right tackle, I'm going to have it be my rookie Jordan Morgan, who we drafted in the first year. This is where Paul Springs is going to be taking over. And also, Damon Payne's going to be taking over. A lot of new faces, but in a very good way. I'm happy that there's a lot of new faces. DB-wise, very similar. Kalen Barnes, Emerson plays up top because he gets all the good abilities when he does play up top. Sub linebacker, this is... I thought I drafted a replacement, but I didn't. And I also don't even have a fast secondary option. So I'm moderately, I've considered putting Grant Delpit there and then kind of migrating who I have up top and figuring that out. But I don't know. The player that I'm most interested in from this draft class is Percy Dixon. If I could make Percy Dixon really good, then we look at him and we're thinking, okay, what was this change of direction? With the boost, I don't know if I've even used the change of direction boost. They're similar players. Like, honestly, if I were to try and draft a replacement, 5'10 versus 5'11, same speed, trucking backs. Like, this is a perfect, 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 perfect replacement. And Paul Springs on defense is going to be able to help. Guys, Shadur Sanders, year number two, shut up the haters and win. Let's go. Oh, it's a beautiful season. Okay, I'm giving Dixon the first carry of the season just because I want to see if he can run people over. Like... Let's see how good he is because if he's solid, I will actually very happily. Yeah, Commissioner Judy. I'll very happily trade Diggs and get value for him. He's still on these deals. Every single time I re-sign Judy, I'm re-signing him to like a nothing deal. So, go. Go, Dixon! Run! First down and more. Beautiful. He's got two for 31. Let's see. Let's see if we can kind of run the offense a little bit. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That's a dot. That's a dot, Sanders! We got two superstar receivers to start this season last year. That was not the case. And we got a two-headed monster at running back to try and carry us kind of through the regular season. First carry for Nick 
Chubb. Uh, Nick Chubb. Shoot, that's not, that's not a Nick Chubb issue. That's a me issue. I, I, I pulled that way, way, way too much to the outside. Yep. That's a first. Hmm. I'm looking Luke McCaffrey here. I'm curious what he's doing with that safety. Yeah, I don't think he can guard Luke. Wow. Wow. Holy smokes, 38. That was a phenomenal play. Like, I just, I have to admit when I see it, that was really impressive. Back to throw here. There you go. Okay, take three. Good running game. Poor decision making, I think, is what I would determine this is. Poor decision making. Stepped up way too much in the pocket. Stepped right into a, de a, a defensive lineman and messed everything up. Oh, gosh. I really like our new D line. Adding springs, I feel like we'll notice. Personally, I think we're going to notice a big difference in a, in a good way um, with him because he can win easily on the outside. I think he's going to be... We didn't <laughs> we didn't have a great edge rush on the other side, and he's still got seven sacks. So hopefully this helps everything. That's not good. It's really not good. It's really not good. Oh, man. Oh, man. The Bengals are about to just drive me to drink. First and ten, here's Brown. Nope. Brown once more. Oh, we battle, guys. We're gonna have to battle all season. Shoot! Shoot, 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 shoot. In week one, do you like that you're matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? Okay. Lock in here. We need seven before half here. Hundred percent. I want to like slowly give the other running back the ball. Oh my god! But then how do you how do you watch Nick Chubb and do that? How do you look at watch Nick Chubb play football and be like, oh, I want to switch? I just don't think you can. He's so unbelievably good. I don't know how I go away from that. That's a nice play. I like that. Simple screen. This is a different offense than what we ran last year. And last year's offense was a big success um, up until one playoff game. So it's, it's difficult to switch it up, but I think it's it's good against when you're playing the same people a lot to, to always have a new scheme kind of ready. Heads up. Heads up. Get out of there. That's the first. Five for six. Okay, I'm curious if he thinks. I'm curious if he thinks I'm gonna rush this or if I'm gonna play this chill. Cause it kind of decides what he's gonna do defensively. I would rather. I don't want to score with the ton time. Now. I had him. Oh, okay, tough start. He gets ball at half two, by the way, in case you're wondering. In case you're uh, you're keeping track at home to who gets ball, Tim. Nice throw. Even if I could somehow manufacture three here, it would go so far. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. Safety, safety, safety. Yeah. Or he gets it at the two. Oh, horrible start. Okay, we can just switch up. Oh. I don't know what I saw there. I was like, rather than trying to get a field goal, I was like, let's try and do too much and throw a lob pass right to the middle of the field. You see the result? Horrible. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Okay, defense, try and get something done. No promises, but just try our best to get something accomplished here. Here's Burrow. 
I thought I could. Ooh, no. Because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being nope. away from it. Third down. Get him off the field, give us a chance. That's all I'm asking for now. Get him off the field. Have some hope in this game. If I if I lose another to him, if I if I give him back to back wins, it just does way too much for his confidence. And I don't want him to have any confidence. To the air again, Burrow. He's gonna lock one. That's over throw. Yep. Okay, worked down. Here's a chance. One of you do something. Oh my gosh, good defense. That was good effort. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. This is that was kind of clean. That, that front flip was pretty clean. Okay, we get humbled week number one. Hopefully, bounce back week number two. Figure it out. Simplify everything. Know that we had a good year last year. Don't try and reinvent everything just because we got first round bounced for the twelfth time. But oh gosh. Leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator. Sometimes they just make a I like that throw. I like that. Even though that's a poor result, that's a good throw. I think I got him. Commissioner Judy, baby, up top. Go, Luke. First touchdown pass of the year. Let's go. Get seven. I just don't want to be embarrassed. I'm fine to lose. It's going to be a loss, I think. I'm almost certain. But let's just try and... Let's not be completely embarrassed here. Nick Chubb, well done. Let's move the ball. Have some effective drives. We're going to onside kick because then we can maybe hold him to three. Be It can be a two... A two touchdown game, but either way, I just gotta get my confidence back here. That feel that they've gotta go ahead and make something happen. Steal possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right. First down, here's Burrow. This will be caught once again by Brown. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Eluding the pressure right. Oh my, that was just anger. That was pure anger at the end. Garrett. Still somewhat in this if he can just... He had to throw like a pick six. Oh, I need him to make a dumb mistake or something. I just have no answer for what he's doing off. I don't know why. There was times when I feel like this guy couldn't move against me. And now I just feel like I can't do anything against him. That they had hoped to open their season thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. Go. Horn Jr. makes. Okay. This game's all over, but the crying. I'm just trying to throw some beams here to end this thing, and then hopefully. Flag on him, I think. He's going to let it fly. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Good game. Okay, we need a new game plan. We need a new offense. We need a new everything. I gotta figure out what he's doing in this stupid blitz that he does. This YouTube blitz that he found is just cooking us. Okay. Tough loss. Um, I don't even know what stats are gonna tell me here. Stats are gonna tell me to quit Madden, maybe. Percy Dixon, I gave him three. He got 28. Four carries for Nick Chubb. He got nothing. I don't know. Part of me, I don't know. I don't know where we are as a team now. We're, we're Cleveland. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a year away. If I can... Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm doing. I just know that was an embarrassing loss. And next week has to be better. I apologize. That sucked. It was bad. Whatever. Week number two, everybody. I felt... Like my attitude was negative. I, that guy's living in my head. Part of these, these videos is you guys get to see... The ups and the downs of a season. The ups and the downs for me, like as a Matt trying to, when I go through slumps, and right now I'm in a slump against the Bengals opponent, and he's living in my head. He's living rent free, honestly, just totally in my head, and there's nothing I can do about it. So as of right now, it is what it is. But I think what I need to do, I was thinking about this. 
And it depends a little bit on money because I think we actually might have some money now. We should, yeah, see, oh my gosh, we made it through the, we can now keep players. So we made it through the being broke two years of the whole thing. We have 119 million to spend this next year. I think we almost trade Chubb for picks. See how this year goes, get a rookie better and then go all in in free agency next year. Sign everybody, go all in and get this Brown. Not to this year, I'm not going all in, but I think we trade Chubb for picks. He's getting older, he's 30. I could probably get a decent pick for Nick Chubb. Get rid of him for a decent pick. Start the rookie, because I feel like we drafted his replacement. This is kind of a Tajay Spears, Derrick Henry thing. Start his replacement. See if that does anything for me. If it doesn't, if it does, it doesn't. And it might be a dumb decision, but whatever. See how that goes, because I don't, I'm not worried about him losing his dev, because this is last year for me no matter what. And then just see, okay, is Percy Dixon gonna be a stud for us? Can we run around Percy Dixon and can we win games? Week number two, Steelers week. Oh my gosh, I'm mad at myself for week one, but it is what it is, let's go. Okay, Elijah Dixon. Let's see what he can do, man. Let's see what he can do. Starting reps, he falls forward just like Chubb. He falls directly forward seemingly. Looks like he's kind of hurt, but I could also do kind of a two-headed monster. I, this is not so that I'm gonna sit Chubb. This is saying, at week seven, I franchise tagged him twice. I've totally ruined, he doesn't even want to play football anymore. Do I let Nick Chubb go and try and develop this guy this season as our new number one guy? That's what I'm processing right now. I'm kind of leaning a little bit towards yes. Okay, just lock in. Yep, Luke McCaffrey. Developed into such a stud! Go up! I'm winning this entire thing. I'm done. Honestly, we gotta we gotta win. It's for Cleveland. It, it, it's bigger than it's bigger than us. It's about Cleveland. Okay. Can Dixon catch? Yep. Yep, he can. He's a little bowling ball. 91 speed at 232 pounds is, is intriguing. Stay aggressive. Play how we did last year. Go. Good try. Looking to throw. Defensive pass interference. I think we're going to accept that. Thank you. And that's just, it's a bit of an align issue, that one. We didn't have a chance from the get go. Back to throw here. Flushed out right. Following the fumble recovery, Holland. Now he'll dump it up. Looking to throw on second down, Holland. Come up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Third and six. He got me. Firing quickly here. <sighs> Take the ball, please. <sighs> He's got a great chance to win this thing. I just. Giving away the ball will get you nowhere. I literally should have had a pick. If he wasn't for a defensive pass interference, dude had intercepted us there. Like, we were in a horrible situation. So I got to get things together before this season is over. Before I got to just tank and trade the entire team. There it is. I dealt it. That's what I wanted you to do. You just didn't know it. I see myself out. I see myself out. Good try on the left side. Okay. What are we going to do, man? Are we going to cry about it or are we going to go win some games? I got to just go win some games. Or we need backwards tap. Brett has to respawn. You know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game, but I think when it comes within... You've been our best receiver so far. Horn Jr. has been our best receiver just at getting open in all things right now. He's our best receiver, and I would love that, like, truly. Make the throw. Make the throw. Okay, are you, is he screaming at me? I think he is. He is. 
Yep, fall forward, my friend. I like that. Am I scared or am I brat? Don't be scared. Go, good job, rookie. Good job. Yep. Throwing a little bit behind him, but that's fine. Third and five. Yep. Dot. Go! Go, Horde Jr. There it is. Colorado connection. I want him to be a stud. I'm sick of this. Sick of being bad at this game. We got this. Just win games. Get the one seed. Someone else will beat the Bengals. Let somebody else take the Bengals out for us. And then we can just worry about our own stuff. Whew. Beautiful. 7 up. There it is. Welcome to the team, Springs. Welcome to the team, man. We're going to see these rookies. Just wait. It's just a matter of time. These rookies are going to go crazy. Just wait, everybody. Yep, springs again. Third down. Back to throw. Holland. You good, bro? Grant Delpit? Let's get out of there, Grant. Needed it. Okay, get seven here. Quick throws. Jimmy Horn, if he's the guy that we're getting the ball to, let's get on the phone after this game. Let's talk Nick Chubb. Let's get rid of Nick Chubb. Let's rebuild this whole thing and win a Super Bowl. Higgins. Yep. Please snap it, Brent. You're good. You're in the end zone, my friend. Go for two. Make the two-score game. 13, 14, 15. No. Make it. Let's. That's fine. Yep. Come on. Oh man, that's close. The final shot before break. Holland. He's gonna go up top again. Hey, what adjustments this offense made in the locker room? Haven't really been able to get any. Come here. Come here. You're gonna be all right, bud. Let's just go to a lot of man on man look. I'm blitzing too much there's levels to blitzing and then realizing okay you have miles garrett play coverage let your linemen just cook that's what i'm not doing yep got him Both down. what are you doing bud how the tables have turned kid let's go Let's play football. I'm not getting first rounded. I'm winning this entire thing. Speak it into existence. Cleveland, I want this. I'm going to make it happen. Got him. Tough toenails, kid. Yeah, we're not moving. Here we go on second and 12. Sanders. Sanders. There it is, man. Two rushes, 14 yards. No. Okay, we're going to take it. That was incredible. I can't even hate. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Holy okay. Yep. No. Go. Go. That's a huge two points. Go. That's a, that's a seven point lead. That's a seven point lead versus a three point lead because of Newsom Garendo, who was actually drafted in my Steelers franchise. That's crucial. 10 out of 10 crucial. Okay, he's gonna go on set. I want to make sure at least I'm prepared if he's gonna go. On second down, it's Dixon. Go, fall. Third and four. They'll drop the throw. No, that's not good. That's just not good pocket. That's not good anything. Okay, I'm going to be going to over here. His defense has been here all game. Like I struggling against TJ Watt. I'm struggling against this entire defensive line. I'm just gonna go. 
He's got like four picks in, in two weeks. Okay, defense, please bail me out here. Please and thank you. Yep. Grant Delpit! Click on and then I click off. You see, I moved the guy out there. I moved him out and then I clicked off so he'd get the perfect angle, third and 13. Okay. Two timeouts. We're going to have a chance to get the ball back no matter what. I think I know what he wants to throw. Truthfully, I think I could guess. Operating from the gun. Holland. Trying to improvise. Something stupid. Thank you. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback. There it is. Okay, run the ball now. Slow the whole thing down, run the ball, get a win. Get a win, get back to 500, and move on. I don't know about Dixon anymore. I don't know. We're like 18 rushes for half a yard. Partly this defensive line is just cooking us, but it's what it is. Yep. Like that. Okay, kill clock. I don't, I'm, maybe now I'm thinking I don't trade Nick Chubb. I let this guy get better this year and we, we run with Nick Chubb this year. I don't know if this guy's like dominant enough to be the 100% guy. He could be. That was the win, by the way. Um, we're going to move to one on one. I'm not happy with it. It didn't feel clean. We threw six picks all last year and we've thrown like four in a week to start off this season. So it's not great. But we'll build on this. We'll take this win. I am going to shop. Honestly, what I think we need, speaking 100%. Transparency. I think we need a burner. I think we need somebody who can run past people. Like, personally, I feel like we're slow. And when your team's slow, like, we're all 92 speed on offense. We're, we have the three of the same receiver. That's not good. I want to trade almost Nick Chubb for a... We get an elusive back upgrade. Plus two change of direction is insane. Um... I almost want to try and start reaching out to people and asking, okay, do you have a 95 speed receiver? If so, what's the asking price? How do, how does he how is he on my team at the end of today? That's the type of questions that I want to start asking. Cuz there's a lot of burners in this league now. There is. You see them. They're they're everywhere. There's a lot of burners. Um Tyquan Thornton, Mecole Hardman, a lot of guys over 95 speed. I just want one of these guys. Schwartz, I know they have a bunch. Arian Smith would be an interesting one. Like, what's it going to take to get one of these true burners? Hollywood, someone that I've tried to negotiate for with um, to get in the past. But I do think it's a missing aspect of our game. And I think if we could solve that, everything's better. As far as Chubb, I can't sit him on the bench. So I either have to, like... I have to call some people and get a feel for what... Let's see next week, actually. Let's first, let's see how much he wants. Okay, let's have this conversation. How much does Nick Chubb want? And am I realistically going to bring him back? That's not even bad. 31 years old. He wants to play for us. I can't... I just don't know. I, I wish you guys could just be here to tell me, Brett, you're stupid. Just say it. Brett, you're dumb. That's all I want to hear. I almost seem to like look at the camera and be like, try and visualize what are these people saying right now as I'm about to trade Nick Chubb away. Or are they saying, yes, Brett, trade him. He's got high value. Get high value for him. Rebuild because you suck at the game. Is that what you guys are saying? I don't know what you guys are saying. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point, but we got a chance to play the Jags to get to two and one. Our passing game sucks so bad. It's horrible. Um, and we haven't had any success. I want to be a run team. Let's give Dixon one more try. I feel like that Steelers defensive line was by far the best line. So let's give Dixon one more start. If he's bad, 
He sits on the bench, he gets better for a year. Next year, he gets his opportunity. He's the starter, we trade Chubb. Or in week seven, we trade Chubb, get better, yada, yada, yada. Week number three, who wouldn't want to be me? Let's go. And sacking the quarterback, that doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB. Delpit, that is the season, right there. Delpit just set the tone for the, what this season's about to become. Horrible start, Delpit with the hit stick of the century. Setting the tone for the change in attitude, the change in everything that's going to project us to the best season ever. So, that's all I needed was that hit. Dang, dude. I would agree with that, and what they told us was that they weren't planning on making any Please, bar, no. It's all right, third down. Good defense. Back to throw. Christy. Yo, where are we? What are we doing, D-line? Oh, we're just allowing these weak step-ups. Super, super, super weak. Shoot. Throwing on first down. Christy. What's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. Yep. That's the essence of football. Ten. To throw on third down, Christy. He'll take that's a, a that's a book. That's a book. Newsom, catch it anyway, just for confidence. Catch it anyways for some confidence. Why is he Okay, if he's oh, he's taking three. Oof. Okay, that's good for us. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get buzzing on offense anyways. I might just make forty trades this season. I'm really feeling like it's the year. Yep, play action. Be great. Go shoot. Perfect. Yep, dot. Nice throw. Yep. Go, Dixon! There we go. Push him. Ball forward, Dixon. Push him over. Fall forward. This is where I'm going to test. Like, okay. Situations like this. Is he going to fall forward? What are, what are we going to do? Because clearly me and Shadur Sanders are not carrying. Like... Okay, I have uh, made up my mind. I made up my mind, Nick. It's Nick Chubb. It's always been Nick Chubb. I think he might be screaming here. Yeah, he is. Luke McCaffrey. Falls forward, my friends. He's had an excellent start to the season. He really has. Come on. Fall forward. See? Stud. Nick Chubb, I'm sorry about your stats. We were just, we were never planning on trading you. Promise. You have my word on that. It was just to see what we had, and then I realized, okay, I am not good enough to win with just my QB this year. You're staying. 100% you're staying. I'll trade the other guy. I'll just let him get better. 7-3. Come here. Spring. It's springtime. That was genius. Springtime. That's that's the new, and it is. Like, actually, it's getting close to spring where I live. Do something stupid, man. Yeah, that's fine. You got 20 seconds left. Yeah, fill your boots. Come here. Tell Pitt. Oh, my. I thought he had another one. I really thought he had another one. Just keeping the play alive. I'm gonna break that one right here. On first and ten, Christie. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. Pitch. Throwing on first down, Christie. It's on me. You gotta follow that. You have to follow that. Even though that didn't end up bad, you gotta follow it. A final shot before break. Christy. And that's gonna be in. Wait. 
What time is it? Springtime! Springtime! Nice. I think I'm feeling a bit of the lack of offensive line. I don't know what it is, but nothing feels as good this year. Judy is Commissioner Judy, baby. Commissioner Judy. What a catch. They're not he's not the fastest. But he'll go. Maybe I need Judy on one side and McCaffrey on the other side. Give Sanders some good variety and targets. Horn is I feel like Horn needs to be replaced. I feel like I need a burner, man. It's not you, it's me. It's always been me. But then he does stuff like this, and I'm like, okay, I can't get rid of him. I love him. Six for six. Dot. Lazy. Jimmy Horn Jr. Everybody, everybody just play football. No stress. We're just playing football. A little bit because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out. On first down, Christie. Stay night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. Okay. Power option. I respect it. Don't see it every day. Love it. Back to throw. Christie steps away to his left. And, and second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Looking to throw. Christie. Emerson? Yep. Oh, wow. That's a big hit. Fourth and ten. Okay, this would give us a very good chance to win this thing. I put my safeties in a bit of a different spot. It's been helping a lot. On fourth down, Christie. See how Emerson? He's a superstar. So as soon as that ball was thrown, great animation. Got rid of it. I miss Matt. He's been there all day. He's played so much man coverage. And every time he does, I'm just taking, throwing to McCaffrey. He's six foot two, big body receiver. He's going to make that catch every single time. Kind of man. Yep. Lob that. Lob that up. Lob that up. Commissioner. Ooh. Okay, go to the same mismatch. If he's running this same defense, go to the same exact mismatch. Got me. Okay. Defense show up. Oh man, horrible execution. Throwing to start the drive. Christie. Caught right side. Davis. Looking to throw on second down. Christie. First and ten, Christie. Come here, come here, come here. He's gonna be taken down Second down. Here. Back to throw, Christie. Send him. Uh, he's got something. I don't know how, but thank you. I don't know how Tyke Smith made it through that, but that was incredible that he did. Okay, I'm sending my entire team here. Make him make the first move, Conway. Yep. Send the entire team, an accurate throw, fourth and 25. He's kind of forced to take three here. If he doesn't, yeah, see, taking three makes it an eight point game, but we're still in the driver's seat. I gotta get to Yep, dot, dot, perfect. Step up in the pocket, stay away from everybody. That's a big time throw. Very, very, very big time throw. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try again with Chubb. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Sit, sit, sit. My, I want to go for this. I want to try, but then I know that would be a horrible decision. Thank you, GG's, man. GG's, K. Okay. 
No, this guy. Weird time to almost. I think he's gonna concede. Okay, two and one. I'm about to get on the phone. I don't know who's gonna pick up. Someone is gonna pick up. I feel like I would trade McCaffrey or no, I would trade whoever has the most value. I just really need a shake up on offense. Sanders needs a burner. And I gotta find someone with a burner and do whatever I can to trade for him. So that's gonna be my goal. Right now, we're two and one. I'll show you stats if you're curious about how this season's going. Like, look at this. Sucks. Sucks. I can't trade him because he's the best receiver right now, but sucks. Good, good. Happy to see that. Good, good. Everything else sucks. Change the season. This next game, throw lasers, be great, win a game. But honestly, who do I trade with? <sighs> Don't even know. Week number four, I've reached out to a couple people. The Bucks have Trey Palmer, who could potentially, the Chiefs are another one that I, I wanna like, I was looking at his team. He's got so many burners on his team and trying to see like, okay, who, who would he be most likely to move? He's got seven McGee, who could wear number seven. Let's look at his receiving yards. You see Hollywood Brown? Literally not even, he hasn't even caught a ball. He's 29 years old. To me, he comes in and he helps me out a ton. To me, if that's the call I'm making, that's the only player that I could see and I could be like, yo, I really think with one like move like that, I could be in a way, way, way better situation. We get to play the Saints right now. Um, they're a good team, they're not a great team. Now, I have a chance with the QB1 check-in, which is always clutch, and a QB1 check-in allows you to hopefully get plus four um, deep throw and plus four medium. That's what happened last year when we actually completed the QB1 check-in challenge. So we're gonna try our best to complete that, um, get that, get Sanders better. The better Sanders gets, the better our team's gonna be. Tell him to carry the team. I gotta start thinking about the fact that I want long run of this entire thing, I want him to become a superstar. So what do I gotta do to make him a superstar? One step at a time. Week four, let's get it. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a new year, new offense, new me. Let's get Sanders. Sanders is... I'll shut up. Okay. Maybe don't do that, Brett. Yeah, as I'm saying, new year, new me, new offense. Fumble six. <laughs> I try and juke out. I suck. Okay. Look at this. Okay. We got some. We got a battle back. Back to the, this offense. I don't know if you guys remember this offense. This is my Pittsburgh Steelers four time Super Bowl winning offense. Um, involves a lot of read option game and involves a lot of this type of stuff and it needs a power back like a Najee Harris Nick Chubb type I'm hoping we can get similar fire that we got in that offense with this one Yeah, oh you got room You got a lot of room Okay, look for Horn Jr. here. Step up and try and find Jimmy Horn Nope Take over! Let's go! MVP is still in, it still could happen. I'm not giving up on the MVP yet. Still within reach. Seven up. Nice throw. He got cheated right there. That was a perfect read. That was in between zones, or in between the man coverage on the cut. That was well done. Please, please. <laughs> okay. That was a book. Don't care what anybody says. I don't think that was that good of a read. Okay. He definitely thought he was throwing the RPO. That's tough. Been there. We've all been there. Shotgun, he'll look to throw. 
just so out to lunch. Just the most out to lunch anyone's ever been in their entire life. Come here. That's a flag on me. Dude th throws a top five worst read I've ever seen. And, a, and I get a flag. Nice. Not, I'm not complaining, but I am. Nope. Sit. Third down. Nope. Fourth down. I'm curious actually what he's about to do here. I feel like he doesn't have. Yeah, he's going so I feel like he doesn't have the team to like go crazy aggressive. Okay, 10-7. I learned on that last drive, running the ball works. Keep running. I miss that. I miss running this read because I feel like it does work for this team. Like, it works for Sanders and everything because we do have the speed to be able to run. We have a really good... That's a dot. Nice. Wow! See, ugh, I want to get rid of you because you're slow, but I can't. Heads up. Okay, I'll throw this underneath if I don't have anything. I'm worried I'm not going to have anything. Yeah, I actually do have Higgins. Oof. Definitely is not going to be... That was totally brutal, that hit. But I'll take it. There it is. Beautiful. 14-10. He's got no timeouts. You got two options here. What do I think I can do with thirds? Do I have the confidence to think that I can score with this amount of time left is the question. Nice throw. I thought, for whatever reason, I thought that was one of the drag. I didn't, I didn't expect that to be there. Okay, this game's testing us. Luckily for we just barely made that. Okay, we're gonna be down three, and he gets ball at half. This isn't good. Situation itself is not good. One of the best throws of the season. Oh my, that is a throw. Maybe the best throw of the entire year. Over top of the coverage. Could not be better. Do I lob one up to McCaffrey here? Or do I play smart? I had him too. I have Warren Jr. You got three timeouts. Okay, run. Get like two more yards so that we can guarantee the tie up is what I think I do here. Run. Dive forward. Timeout. Dude, I got Luke Akers, the worst kicker ever. I need to get a kicker. Oh, this thing's going to move. Th that thing is moving. I need a new kicker bad. Okay, thank you. Tie game. Luke Akers can't kick. Oh, gosh. Yeah, he's got him. He's got him. Do I just start blitzing everybody and try and scare the life out of this guy? To me, I'm like, I feel like dude thinks he is just so locked in right now. I'm curious if he's this tough with a little bit of pressure. Shoot. Throw it, throw it. Come on, Taiki. Let's see if we can glitch the game or something. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? 
See, I'm curious what he does. That's maybe the uh, the dumbest thing I've ever done. Like, legitimately, I don't... I was hoping I'd throw the ball and then it would just be like, oh, penalty no longer counts. Your ball. That's what I was hoping. Did not happen. That's, if anything, yeah, Denzel Ward, that's a mismatch. Denzel can keep up with Dallas Goddard all day. Nope. KO! No, he just barely. I think they said he had possession before he dropped it. Please, 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 please get a stop. Even three would go so far in this situation. Thank you. Yo, Denzel, we don't deserve you, bro. We don't. We really, really, really don't deserve you. A situation like that, game on the line, everything on the line to win against a short smash route like that is insane. Okay. Hand this thing off. Go get seven and win a game. Yeah, that should be a dot. Yep. Nice route. That's a different route than what I normally run. But I like when he runs the route like that. Get out there. Don't juke. Just fall forward. Second two. Do I want to kick a field goal with Buddy? Absolutely not. I told you guys about my kicker. He just... He was playing house league soccer before he got signed to our team. Like, he's horrible. So... I'm not optimistic whatsoever about him. I'm the reason I'm going to play aggressive is because of my kicker. I could totally see me missing a kick with him. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw, eluding the pressure right. Okay. Make it not a horrible thing. Just try and get close to the line. On third down, he'll drop to throw. We're in trouble here. <sighs> what was that throw? Oh, if that's not the worst throw of my life. I don't even know where that, that was third and long. Just, I go through phases. Maybe the most dominant route I've ever seen from any player by Olave. At the top of that route, that corner route, just totally cooks us. That was unbelievable. I'm a fan of what I just saw. Okay, run commit because we got three timeouts. Just hold him. Hold him to three. Yep. I don't know what to do. Do I score? It's a foot race. I think to score when you try and play defense. Unbelievable from McCaffrey. Shout out to I'm not, but I think, what do I do? I have three timeouts. McCaffrey may have just got us back in this. Oh man, oh man. Got him. That's pressure. McCaffrey, you may... Honestly, I didn't give that as much credit as I should have. That kick return is going to put a stupid amount of pressure on him. What is he doing? Is he... Oh, gosh. Tackle him. Yeah, I think he's just trying to make it a little bit more attainable. What are you going to do on third and 17, though? Come here! Springtime, baby. Springs may have just won us this game. Springs may have just won us this game. Man, oh man, he's good. Really, really, really good. <sighs> Cannot believe that McCaffrey got a kick return in that spot. Okay, get a punt return here and end it. Punt return to end it. Kick return, punt return, back to back. End this thing. No, it's fine. Three points. I just need to get closer because my kicker sucks. My kicker sucks. 
That's not even an overstatement. That's an un saying he's bad is, is an understatement. Nick Chubb. Yep, you should have an angle here, my friend. Yep, shoot. Shoot. I'm fine with the kick. If it's the kick. Nope. Go. Score. Score. Close. Uh, oh, that's so tricky. That's incredibly intelligent. What he just did was very smart. Oh, what would Brett do? Then do the opposite. Brett would do something stupid. Do the opposite of what Brett would do. Take the field goal. I'm going to take the field goal. Because Brett normally would try and run a play here, and then I'd end up with no time. If he gets three points in three seconds, it is what it is. This leg's horrible. Oh my gosh. Did Buddy miss this? No. Thank gosh. Good game, guys. Good game. Okay. That one... That's a, that's a tempo setter. We didn't play good. I honestly, I didn't feel good the entire game. I felt like this game sucked. Look for the good stat in this game. You won't find anything good about this game. The whole, the whole game was horrible. But a win's a win. It's a momentum win. And I don't care. I'm taking my hat off. And I'm going to freak out. Let's go. Week number five. How sweet it is to win a game like that. That was everything to me. That seriously, if I lose that game... Confidence shot, everything shot, season potentially shot. That's just, that felt clutch. It felt needed and it felt really, really, really good to win that game. It did. Um, now we build on that. If you're, if you're here to watch a good offense, you're in the wrong place. If you're here to watch a good defense, you're in the wrong place. If you're here to watch me, yeah, I guess you're in the right place. I, mean, I don't know. The offense isn't good. The defense isn't good. I'm not good. Shadur Sanders is about to ask for a trade. The Browns QB carousel is about to continue. I wasn't the solution. I'm just adding to the problem. But if you love Luke McCaffrey, Jerry Judy, and ugly wins, you're in the right place. Plus one speed. Oh my gosh. 93. He's getting close to being a burner. And Damon Payne is an 80 overall now. Um, which is unreal. I really like that. So he should get two. Yes. Oh my, that's big. Secure tackle and speedster I'm gonna do because he is kind of, he is a speedster. Okay, week five. Now, priority, just keep this thing alive. Keep on winning, make it through this stretch of the next three games with three wins. Even though we suck, we'll be fine. Let's go. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That's, ooh, I thought. I thought I might get a KO right there with Emerson. I get good memories when I think of the Panthers franchise. I had a lot of fun in that franchise. One time Super Bowl winner, but that was a movie. Like year one when I took them to the bowl was, that was a movie. Gotta admit. No. Hmm. That was a nice read. Nope. Four games without a win? Things can start compounding themselves pretty quickly from this point forward. He completes this one. Can't take the ball. Crush it. For those of you who ask, the strip button is R1 um, on the controller. You might know that, but that's how I seem to get a lot of those just by spamming that button. Yep. It's two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Okay. Hat back on backwards. Let's dance, Sanders. It's a fight. Every game is a fight this year. Second and nine now. Flushed out right. You're faster than that. Go, Sanders. There it is. There it is. There it is. See, that play by Dixon was impressive. Run for it. Here's Chubb. Down. 
Okay, check the blitz here. He backed that guy off, but I still think there's a chance he might be coming. Didn't like the read. Didn't like it. Didn't like my own read. Whew. Happy with the result. Didn't like the read at all. Dixon's playing again today because I am all over the map mentally at the moment. Nick Chubb on the block. Nick Chubb on the block. Go, throw it, throw it. I want you to throw it. I kind of, no, I don't throw it. I didn't, I didn't want you to throw it. I want him to throw it, and then I realized that Tyke Smith is quite undersized, and I was like, yeah, no, he's going to moss me. And that's uh, precisely what he did. Yep. Oh, you nerd. Take the ball, please. Take the ball. I'm trying. Doing everything I can to take the ball every time. They'll look to throw again. Touchdown, Panthers. Good throw, kid. Okay. Now, Pittman. That sucked. That sucked. Sucked really bad. And then make that walk back to locker room just a little more animated. Now he's gonna throw Sucks to suck, kid. Motherfucker, I've been mortified, 45, feeling like a Mordecai. I ain't regular, feel like you're the way 45. Traumatized, victimized, seeing some of the stuff. Knock you off a base. I love it. No trade. Trades off. Maybe I could trade. Ah, oh, no. It's me. I'm the problem. Just be better. Throw it. Throw it. No. Come here. We had him. To the air once more, young. That's that's a horrible read. It's a horrible read, and that just gave us a chance again. 17 seconds to change the world. Okay, get in field goal range. Get in field goal range. Make a play. Is Jimmy Horn Jr. gonna be our guy this year? He's kind of looking like it. Start looking for him. Let him be the goat. If he wants to be the goat, let him be the goat. That's a thousand IQ. You can't. I love that throw. I highballed it because I knew he was tall. Oh, I love that throw. I hate the results. Shoot. Yeah, I'm in a little bit. I'm in a little bit of trouble. Pretend like you can kick, even though you can't. Yeah, we're gonna pretend like we can kick. We're gonna we're gonna come out for a field goal. No, he's too smart. He's I I I tried to get him to call my bluff, like come out field goal and try and do like a kicker flip. He didn't call the bluff. Good throw though. Good throw. Ah, it's a tough one for him. Touchdown. No, not quite. That pick, though, is huge because now we're in the driver's seat. We can take a lead, get seven, and just cross our fingers that we can manufacture some some type of stop here. Oh, that's on me. Horrible. Dot. Dot. Go. Third inches. Oh no, I hate that. Yeah, just get rid of it. I almost ran the ball, but then I was like, nope. Yeah, touchdown. We're back. We're back. Sanders is getting stats again. We're back. Nick Chubb, 21 14. Young looks to throw on first down. A 
Escaping the pressure right. Got a man over the middle and it's complete. Should have played the Duke. We got some games right now. Man, oh man. Back to back just sweats. Okay, so this drive, I'm actually going to play it slightly like a loser. Dixon's going to get this drive. Well, at least these next couple plays. I'm going to give the ball to Dixon. And what the hope is here is that we can get seven or we can get three and not give him the ball back because he's been excellent on offense. So that's kind of the dream right now. Got to get to the outside. Yep. Don't, don't score. Don't score. We're trying to, we're trying to hit a last second kick here. Don't score though. He wants you to score. Dixon kind of looks phenomenal right there, and I probably realistically should have given him a touchdown, but I think I'd rather try and take a little bit of the clock here. Perfect. That's so stupid. Oh, I hate me. I hate me so much. I think... I think I can clock this out almost. You can tell he's heated. This is, this is a rage pause in Madden. This is an angry pause. This isn't a happy pause. This is a very angry one. Hopefully he doesn't concede because then it would be a tie. Okay, it's first and goal. He has one timeout. I think I can knee it. Yeah, I, I can take a knee and kick it from here and win the game. Hi, I'm Brett. I'm a loser. Okay, he's got five seconds. Do do, man. Back to back, baby. When you're winning games like this, you win Super Bowls. That's all I can say. When you're winning games like this, you win Super Bowls. GG's in the chat. Keep it up. Keep going. Let's go. Okay, with that win, we are... Our stats, four touchdowns to four... It's crazy to think that these are our stats. Like, it's actually... It's a little bit hard to look at. Like, every time I look at these, I just feel sad. Um, man, oh man, those are bad stats. What are kind of stats do we got going on there? Okay, so as far as players ready to negotiate, Grant Delpit I want to bring back. Moderate interest, let's, yep, wow. Okay, thank you to Grant for being so cool about that. He's really the only player. Wyatt Teller, I believe I had to franchise take him last year. I want to bring him back for like three more years. Yeah. Thank you. Even though that probably wasn't smart, a one-year deal probably would have been better for me. He probably was pumped when he got that. My kicking situation, let's, we need to talk about this. That's my guy. He sucks. The, the meter was absolutely cooking. It was like, I could, there was smoke coming off the meter after he kicked. It was moving so fast. I'm gonna replace him with Will Lutz, 100%. Thank you. Welcome to the team, Will Lutz. You're joining a team with a good locker room. A history of winning, as you know. Um, okay, I'll get rid of Anthony Brown. Make him my kicker. Let's go do our upgrades. Get ready for the Bucks. Um, one and four, not the greatest record in the world, but we've played close games against everybody. There hasn't been anybody that we've really beat good yet. So, yeah, it's not, it's not perfect at the moment, but it is what it is. Um, Upgrade, Braxton Jones, Josiah Gray. Okay. Week six. Let's get it. Baker gonna throw this right away. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> what? I don't even I don't even know how that one happened. Truthfully, I don't. That's Okay, hand this thing off, get the free seven. That's a tough start for Bake. That kind of went through, look at this, it goes through the tight end's hand, he doesn't animate, right to us. Hey, 
I'm gonna hand this thing off again. Okay, that's tough. Three straight runs, nothing. One for Nick Chubb. I think I'm gonna send it though. Might be stupid, but I just feel like I give him a lot of momentum if I let him get off the field here. I try and get seven. Seven, my chances of winning probably go up to 75-80% in a four minute quarter game with a 7-0 lead end ball at half. So I'm gonna take a risk. Dot. Laser, Commissioner and Judy. I have a bit of an off season, but we all are having off seasons. Oh, I like that throw, 7-0. Oh, nice throw. Nice throw. In between the zones. This is why I'm happy that I, I went for it. Because I, I know he's got a pretty good offense. So. Okay. I need an e-book. What the heck was that? Oh, goodness. Okay, now we gotta... We were pretty much handed a awesome situation. Now we gotta enjoy that and do something with it. Nice job, Nick Chubb. They run it again with Chubb. And a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. I'm just running the ball right now because I get ball at half, so. He he took an eight point lead. So I'm trying to just score before half, score after half, win the game. Seven, our score. They go with Chubb on second down. Dot, nice throw. Nice throw, Judy. Don't score. See, he wants to use that timeout. Totally fine with me. This played into my exactly what I wanted. He's got a high-powered offense. I like to think that I have a decently high-powered team. Um, yeah. Dixon, nice pitch. Do I, how lame do I want to be? I feel like I'm better than he is. Part of me thinks, as lamey as this is, I'm trying to stack wins on top of each other. Part of me thinks take three, get seven after half, and win the game. Go up two scores. I think, I think that's the move. That was a bit of a fuck. His defense just drives me insane. I think he actually... Part of me thinks he played coverage there, and that threw me for a total loop. I knew your user was Winfield. I knew McCaffrey's 93 speed. That's why you take the three in that situation. You relax. 17 18. Nope. Sit down. Second and nine. Mayfield now. Looking for Godwin and he's got He's short. Third and one. Surprise! It's Denzel Ward. Beautiful. Okay. Played this game. This was a trap game because I know this guy's good. He beats me a lot. Um, I felt like I had to play this game smart. And I didn't want to give up L's because I know I always want to get past the wild card. I want the one seed. I want to beat the Bengals next time. Oh. Got him. That guy was cross man somewhere. McCaffrey, have a day. GG's guys. Boom, needed it. They'll come out throwing here on first down. 
He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. That he covered easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backside of the backfield. Because I know that when I... Second and six. Back to throw. Yep, just throw it. Okay, starting to get into a lot of rhythm here. You're starting to see us get into a little bit of a rhythm here in the passing game where things are starting to look pretty dang good. Got him again. Same route. Same route's been there all year. Judy with that. That's with a little bit of anger. You can see a little bit of anger. Stiff on. Beautiful. Yep, Dixon. I kind of like what I'm doing with this. I'm running the ball to Dixon, but Chubb is still the main back. But every game I'm like, hmm, this Dixon guy is really good. And every game he just seems to get a little bit better. So I'm happy with where we're at. I'm happy with these decisions. I'm back. Good thing I didn't retire. And <laughs> swerve my channel to in another direction. We're back. Big time players, big time plays, big time players. Yeah, I'll take three. I'll take three with. Oh, I got I got Gano now, so I'm a little. That's a little bit less concerning. Or I got Will Lutz, so it's a little less concerning. Not a good drive by any means. Not good decision making, but should end with at least three points on the board and a ten nothing lead. Yep, it will. Oh wow. Why am I incredibly impressed? That was a great road combo. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Swinging this in. Lawrence. And he will find Ridley. That's good. Again, it's Lawrence. Flushed out right. And this. Back to throw now on first down. Looking to throw Lawrence. This is caught. Seeing incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Lawrence fast. It's just not that fast. Okay, good bounce back. This guy's pretty decent, so this is not going to be a layup. Dang it. Oh, that was a horrible angle on my part. Nice kick. Nice kick, Pele. What the heck was that? Favorite throw in the game. Lob, lob throws over the middle. <sighs> Almost completed that. Okay, two-minute drill. I believe he gets ball at half. So we need something here. Oh, yeah, I got him. Okay, McCaffrey's starting to go crazy, which is nice. No way that was overthrown. They'll look to throw here. That's a crazy beam, guys. Oh my. Is that not too really good? Am I losing it? Or are those I thought those were both excellent throws. I really did. Shoot. Yeah, that's the same. Just be smart with it this time. I don't know. That's a nice throw. Hello. First and ten. He'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. No, no, no. That was supposed to be the drag. Did the drag stop or did the throw? I think the throw sucked. Oof. That's not good. Let me tell you, that is not good. 
sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Now Lawrence on first down. Thanks. Second and ten now. It's Lawrence. And here he takes. It's a throw again. It's Lawrence. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Three. Thank you. Thank you. Will's got this. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a Cooked it. Absolutely cooked it. Okay, we desperately need to stop here. Just offense has not been cooking as much as I would like it. Yep, Grant Delpit. Every time you put him in a flat like that, if they throw that to the flat, he can hit stick and like just decleat. On second down, here's Lawrence. Nope. And it leads to the incompletion. Now Lawrence. That's complete to Trey. Lawrence gonna throw again. That's a laser. Nice throw, kid. Truly, like genuinely, that's a beautiful throw that he just made. Motion him out. Okay, someone's got to make the big play here. I don't know who it's going to be. Delp it. Take the ball. Now Lawrence to throw on second down. On the board. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Well, that's the third interception for Lawrence. Okay. Slow this to a snail's pace. Get seven, win the game. Snail's pace, seven, win game. Yeah, there it is. Just need one block. Now we slow this thing down, we get seven, and we win the ball game. Simple as that. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. And he's going to ball his way down. Hmm, little does he know he's put me in a tough spot. That was a crazy Love the juke from Nick Chubb on that play. Nope. Smarter the dumb play. What are we doing? You got, I got to decide right now. Am I playing for the win or am I playing? He's going to. Oh, this sucks. Am I playing for the win or am I accepting a potential loss? I got to go for the win here. Nice, nice. Good job, Brett. Good pocket. Nice pocket presence. Beautiful pocket. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Out of the gun. It's Lawrence. Should be a KO. Third down. He's thrown three picks and he's only down four. That's a testament to how much I am bad at offense this year because this shouldn't even be a game. With, with those numbers that he's got, this shouldn't even be a game. Oh, I love that. Come here. You good, bro? Okay, hat on backwards. Now we get a second chance. I guess that's part of the reason we went for it is because I felt relatively confident in the defense to get a stop. Browns fans, I got you. Just let me let me work through some some things. And we can do this. Back running back's really good. GG's, bro. Shoot. Shoot. GG's. Okay. Show goes on. We are in week number nine. Guys, stay locked in. 100%. That's all I can say. Stay locked in. Let's go check on our stats from the season. I think I've turned it around a little bit, but still, like, these aren't MVP numbers. 
This is interesting. 4.8 to 3.6, same amount of carries. I don't know if we have a pattern there or just luck. This is getting a lot better. Um, two and a half for spring. I am the worst Miles Garrett user in the world. I don't know how to do it. I need to get better abilities. I'm gonna text the chat, but okay. Falcons week, let's get it. Second yep. Six. Leading receiver this year. Last year, it's so funny how one year can change things. Last year, nothing. This year, dude's leading the entire pack. Beautiful. Heads up. That was, there was a KO there, but the KO is just a little bit late. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that's not great. Before you blink, if you give him any type of blocking, always talk about slot receivers. They usually know it's quicker than fast. What is this, grade seven? Running slip screens? Oh my gosh, I haven't seen that in a year. Shoot. Okay. Yep. Oh my Sanders. Sanders is selling us majorly. That was brutal, brutal. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Yeah, I was gonna say Elijah Higgins. 47 overall. Catching traffic. Okay, let's hope that Mr. Chip Kelly over here in his screens can't score on us again. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Sick defense. Sick defense. But it was only for a minute. Okay. Score here and win the game. It's as simple as I can put it. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And this turns into another first and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Dot. Dot. Hurry it up because I like the defense. Let's just hurry up. Don't use the timeout because I, I want to keep time. I'm going to try and throw a beam to Commissioner Judy or potentially McCaffrey over the middle. But yeah, I felt like I'd have Judy. Fall forward, we want to. This is wild, but I actually think it could work. It could either be the biggest mistake of my life. Or the most smart, the most smart thing in my life. Can't go back to school. Okay, love that. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They're gonna try and throw. There's one thing I want you guys to remember right now. This is very key. Kalen Barnes is star development. That's all I want you to remember. This could be good if we can get a breakout. By getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half, and now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And he's got his man in stride, complete. Else. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Yep, Commissioner Judy. I almost want, I want jukebox on Judy. Second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Fourteen. And calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Now the first catch. Big reason they're losing right now. This is caught at the twenty. Okay, free foreman, dude. What the heck was that? 
first down. He'll drop to throw. Eluding the pressure right. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Nice. Okay. We just got to make sure we win this game. Take take two minutes off the clock. We got the win. Shoot. Please, please, please. Nice. Good hands. Good hands. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. This game's testing me. Nope, Barnes. Barnes gets a TFL too. Add that to the stat sheet. This sucks. This sucks bad. Okay. I could see him going for two here. I really could. He's going for it, I bet. Yeah, I, I can just see it already. He's 100% going for two. He wants the win. I'll, I'd have two timeouts to throw two good. No, no, he played it scared. Okay. Now I can play this with less pressure. Two throws, field goal win. Curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And part of you and I both know the same. Love Luke McCaffrey. Even the fall forward that he just did helped us out tremendously. First and ten. Ice. 46-yard line. Throw something really quick. I I think I need like three yards and a spike. Oh, I know I need like three yards and a spike. This sucks bad. I'm not hitting 63. I just want to make sure that if I miss, it takes more than four seconds. 63 for the win is insane. 63 for the win. I don't have any confidence that I'm making this, but on the off chance we do, it will be sick. But 63 iced. And I think he's done it. I think the kid did it. Ice in my veins. I'm stunning. Bye week. Feeling great, good win. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom, fellas. We are in week number 11. Starting to put, we gotta stack wins. Um, Dixon's been awesome, Springs has been awesome. We're starting to like get, I, I don't even know how we only have one loss right now. I don't, it's all, this whole season has just been such a weird blur of failure. That would, oh my gosh, I got major upgrades to the two weeks. He gets two upgrades. Percy Dixon's gonna get Plus one break tackle, plus two spin move. Honestly, I feel like I just need my long-term plan to be keep Chubb and then start this guy because he's he's unbelievable. Truly, 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 he's unbelievable. Martin Emerson Jr., he keeps getting better um, up to an 89 overall. I just wish, man, I really wish I could win something for you guys. And that's my plan this season. I said, I wanna win with the Browns. I was not messing around. That's still plan A. I haven't gotten any upgrades with anybody. Um, I haven't done a good enough job to earn any upgrades with anybody. I haven't really, yeah, I don't know. We haven't had a single breakout. It's just kind of the way that we're playing doesn't get breakouts, but it gets wins, which is beautiful. I just wish it would get breakouts. Um, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Guys, Ravens week, put up or shut up, punch him in the face, don't stop until you win the entire thing. Stat check. 13 and 6. That's better. Jimmy Horn Jr. Let's get him superstar. That would be beautiful, actually, if I could pull that off. Springs is leading in sacks. Like, Miles Garrett, where are you? Where are you, Miles Garrett? I love you. Where are you? Let's go. Okay, keep on winning. One game at a time. One game at a time, just win. The only person who is living in our head, rent free. Yep, Miles Garrett. See, maybe it's just that he's there all the time, but he doesn't get sacks. 
But that's not so that he isn't in a position to get sacks. He's always in a position, but he just never gets them. Yep. Thanks. Thanks. Oh my, that's the voice crack. Why did I jump? I quit. I want to go play Crash Royale or something. I literally dove head first with my user. Fourth and ten, just dive head first with the user. Nice. Yep. Leading receiver all day. He gets hit, but he's just made all the plays. It's kind of funny how you randomly one year, like, quiet, and then all of a sudden just kind of becoming our most reliable target. But I would say all these guys have been reliable this year. Like, in different situations, they've all had really good games. Oh. Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board yeah. against their defense. I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while. Let your no longer in the shadow, Luke. No longer in the shadow, my friends. I'll just, uh... They'll stick with the passing game. Yeah, oh, that's wide open. Heads up, it's KO. Yeah, if that's not a KO, you're laughing, but it is, so you're crying. Shoot! They'll look to throw again. Again, he'll drop to throw. Close to the goal line? That still definitely hurts. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to take possession. They just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick. Jackson. Okay, lock in a little bit. I was just late. Higgins was... It's not Higgins' his fault. That's big. Grand up at one and a half. Please. Like, I, a breakout with him? I'd never complain about anything again. I honestly wouldn't. From the gun, it's Jackson. Bagged. Now it's Jackson. Caught him. Fourth down. Okay, second shot. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna start handing out resumes tomorrow. I'm handing out. I'm handing out resumes. Yep. Third and ten. Good news is he sucks. Well, no, that's offensive. He's. Good news is he's not moving. So like I've thrown, I've been horrible, but he's just like kind of saying like, hey. Let me do. I, I can do one better here. Now Jackson. He's gonna loft one deep over the middle. Overthrow. And they're gonna try and throw. They'll roll him out right. Overthrown. 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 Not overthrown. Oh, good read. I'm just trying to win enough to where there's a zero percent chance I play the Bengals in round one. If I get first round booted by the Bengals again, I don't know. I don't know if I can walk into. Miserable start for them offensively. I double click the button. I double tap day. Holy so smokes! This is down to fire. After the interception, here's Jackson. Nine times out of ten, just missed that one. Yep, come here. Defense, if we win this game, oh my gosh, I'll lose it. Now it's Jackson sliding out of the pocket. Yep, the box. Seriously, he's going to be here. Like, I do get ball at half, so it's not out of question if I could stop him right here that I could get back in. Fourth down, here's Jackson. He's going to air one out. On third down, he'll drop to throw. This one complete to Jared. Okay, even three here could help the. Um, 
Flush to his right. Now he's going to pass it back deep over the middle. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Ravens are going to get the football. Okay. Here as he gets this I thought I, I don't know what I saw. I don't even have an excuse. I thought I saw something. Now Jackson on second down. And this is gonna be oh, nice. I'm glad. I'm really, I'm so happy for you. So happy for you. That's awesome. Get your field goal. Yeah, get your field goal. I'm going to beat you by 60 next time. And I'm onside kicking every single time. Get your little field goal. Okay, this is just a game I want over. We can maybe try and get some pity yards. So don't, so don't cry myself to sleep, but it's a game I want over. Is this just with the Browns? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. For any of those coordinators, they just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Oh, he was long gone. That they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing. Why am I so boxed? Back to throw again. Yep. With a little bit of touch. This one just got away from us. I, it was over before it even... Well, it really wasn't. This guy couldn't beat a drum. And I just lost to him 24 nothing. You should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Eluding the pressure right. And this time... On first and goal, Dixon. And he's in. Onside kick. Touchdown. I got onside every single time. We're going to go for two and we're going to onside. Try and go John and Kate plus eight every single time and get back in this. Until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet. But you and I both yep. know and he knows okay. as well. Eight point game. And this one recovered by the he got it. Okay, so if he takes three, I'm in a lot of trouble, but on the off chance, he doesn't. That's kind of what I'm rooting for. If he doesn't take three, there's still hope here. An impressive comeback. It has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation. That's a beam. Yo, good throw, Sanders. That's why we don't quit. If you quit, you don't get to see throws like that. That's a pass lead outside. Perfect. You cannot throw a ball more perfect than that. I love that throw. They'll try and throw for it. Got, got him again. Okay, 16. Oh my. <laughs> Crazy for number 86 to go get that. I'm shocked that he even... I would have, like, moved everybody back and just tried to guarantee the penalty. Okay, defense. Pick. He's smart. Sort of. He's probably going to try and run this out. As he should. Strikeout wide by Jackson. Yeah, we're cooked. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Okay, it's over. I'll do one more drive, but I think this thing's over. Gotta try it here. He's back to throw. Got a man and he hits him in strike. Good game. Okay, we lost. I don't know. Don't even have a word to describe that one. Just horrible. It's a no. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, tough loss. But we bounce back. It's all about the bounce back. We had good games from some of our um, Horn Jr. had a really good game in that one. Um, so, okay. We find a way to win. Adversity. We find a way to win games and to bounce back. Jimmy Horn Jr. is going to go up to a 79 overall. Which is amazing. Um, shout out to him. He's almost up to an 80. He's leading the team in a lot of stats. I don't deserve any upgrades for... Shadur Sanders. I'm worried about that, the future of that. Like, I feel like this is just a sophomore slump that's going to lead to something beautiful. But, okay, let's just win. Richardson going right to the air. Yep, get there, Emerson. Every time I play a team, I just remember the franchise. Colts franchise was a movie, but a very sad movie. A pathetic movie with a horrible ending. 
Yeah, I don't even know what movie to even compare. Colts franchise was horrible. I sucked in Colts franchise. So incredibly bad. Again, it's Taylor. Up the middle, here's Taylor. Richardson out of the shotgun. Yep, Emerson. He caught that though? Respect for him catching it. Richardson going on fourth down. Or is that something that happened organically? I think that they game plan for Come here. Brandon, and when you think about it. Now it's Richardson. Oh wow. That should have been Oh, that was such a good defensive play. The pressure got there. Everything about that was beautiful. Richardson on fourth down. Grand Delta, perfect tackle. And he is short. Okay. We get the ball back to back. Two good long drives winning game. At the 41 yard line. They'll start the drive with Dixon. Why is Dixon's juke all of a sudden fast? Hmm, okay, things changed. Yep. Throw it out there. Third and eight. Okay, this is where last game we were so incredibly bad. I think he's using SS Blitz 3 against me, so I gotta make sure that I block it up. Do the proper things to block it. Move out. He should have a block. Yep. I was if I was gonna say if that thing's in bounds, I quit. You don't have to fire me because I quit. On first down they go with Dixon. And he's gonna Here's a second and seven. Oh, that's a weak what a lame little throw that was. Just a gain of a couple there. Just there's no, there's no point in that throw. Two yard reception? No. Or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. No, that's a bad read too. Okay, fourth down. I'm gonna go for it 100 percent Back to throw. Yep. Collins. Go corner route. Elijah Higgins. It's there, that's why I'm not calling a timeout. I'm certain if I can even just get a half a second that I can throw it. I see a half a second. Yep. Well, I didn't call a timeout because I didn't want to stop the clock. I wanted the clock to run because I knew I had a dot. 11 seconds left, up seven. Get seven after half, win the game. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it gonna take to get back on? That was a crazy yeah. animation. Six for seven. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, "Hey, who's gonna make a play for me? I just need something, right?" They'll set up a throw. Open man, he completes it to. Call that what you want. I'll call it a bad read, but I'll call it success. The give running right, Dixon. And he's gonna get this one down to the edge. Five for forty seven. I'm honestly now that we're I feel like Dixon's ready to take over. He's kind of looking fast, significantly more elusive. Then he but that run there, that may get him going. Just considering that gives looking to throw. It'll buy some time right. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And the Colts are going to drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll get the... First and ten. Here's Richardson with it. And Richardson. No way. Now Richardson. No, he got me. That sucks. That sucks for you. That sucks. I'm not, I'm empathizing with the fact that sucks. I'm a human first. That, that was bad. Fourth down, desperation time. Here's Richardson. And he comes back with one complaint. Okay, run the ball, be smart, get a win. Get back at it. I end up missing out on the one seed because that stupid loss to the Ravens, I'm going to lose it. 
Get the deep for yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, on third down, he'll drop to throw. I, I can't. I can't make a read. I can't make a read. I don't know what he's doing on defense. It's like this is some... Either he's good or I'm bad or it's a mixture of both. I don't know what's going on here. Nice read. We know you both dropped, Brett. The heck was that? Ten yard line. They'll run here with Taylor. Here's Richardson to throw. Baiting the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. Come here. You're gonna be all right, buddy. It's a good thing. It's a good thing for me that you can't score because if you could score, I can't move. So. Richardson to throw it. Oh, and that's gonna sabotage their comeback plan. When Brett Jr. is seven, I'm gonna show him that clip. So he can truly understand. Because until he's seven, he won't understand the magnitude of that clip. What a pick. It was gonna be a touchdown, Brett Jr. It was week 14. Just lost. Really bad game. Hand it off to Dixon. Yep. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds and keeps. Please, 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 please. I, am I seriously not going to miss him? Please, just get a first down and end this thing. Oh my gosh, please. Back to throw here. Yep. Game. All game. Get me out of here. I'm done. Oh, we're not winning nothing. Cleveland, I'm sorry it's over. I don't know. <sighs> Take a knee. 7-0 victory. What is this? A high school badminton game? Okay. Show goes on. We'll see you guys in the morning. Thank you. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Uh, it's Cooper. Ladies and gentlemen, Amari Cooper, formerly. I would have loved to keep him. And you can see he's still, it's two years since he's been on our team. He's still a superstar. He's still a beast. And he's still catching passes. They'll look to throw here on first down. Looking for and finding Amari Cooper again. And that's two for 27. Two easy ones for 27. Okay, lock in, play teams. You can see we're the sixth seed. As of right now, at nine and two, we are somehow the number six seed, and I don't quite understand that. Nope. No way. That's a book. That's an Ian book. That's a hundred percent an Ian book. Part of me thinks I just send my entire team this play. Again, he'll drop to throw. Got him. Boom! Good defense. Here's a quick throw left side to start things out. It's going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run out of the play. He took the O. Oh, the my. Play, immediately got to the That's a major miss. Oh, okay. Rolling a little bit right. Probably trying to do too much. And then we're short on that. Here's the million dollar question. You're short on that play. Do you go back to it or do you? Nice throw. Nice, nice throw and a beautiful catch right there. That easily, easily, easily could have been a drop. Especially the fact that I had to kind of click on egg catch it. That was clutch. Second and 11. Being chased out left. Bears it out. To oh, I went for it. Out of the gun now on third down. Yep. Sit. So don't. It's important after a throw like that that you sit down and you do not allow yourself to take a hit stick, to fumble. Oftentimes, fumbles will happen on throws like that over the middle where it's a really good read, it's a really good throw. They'll get hit sticked as soon as they catch it. Boom, fumble. All our momentum's gone. Just get seven. Now he steps away. 
I think I had A. Did you guys see that? I think there's a chance. Hard to say, obviously, with 100% certainty, but I do think... Oh, yeah, he was just... I think Elijah Higgins was just sitting there. Uh, don't love that read. Okay, we'll take three. Mm, we get ball at half. Three points is three points, though. It's We're not playing good enough offensively where I'm going to go for it in a situation like this. If it was another time point in the year, if I had 50 touchdowns to three picks, maybe, but we just... We aren't that good at the moment, so kind of got to try and be humble. Take your points. That's good defense. I like that defense a lot. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Over the middle, complete. It's Hall. That defense is really bad. Reese Lightning, baby. Reese Lightning. That defense is horrible. Just got caught up. I'm looking at a whole lot of nothing. Oh, goodness. One more time with Hall. Dang. It's a good run. Good run by Brees Hall. I don't know if the play call was. I think we had pretty good um, motion kind of trying to like get outside of that, but worked out for him. Okay, 7 3. Three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So, what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. I like that. Don't be compelled to play That's two simple. Two. I like that a lot. If we can somehow get seven here, which as, there would have been a time when getting seven here would have seemed like nothing to me. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he'll manage to make second and six. Rolling to his right. Yep. All types of room there, Sandy. Four for 31. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Second and five. And he gets it to his running back. Time up. Okay, we're gonna have 31 seconds to work from the 22 yard line. Just can't really afford to make a mistake here. We can take a sack, but we'd have to just get up. No, we can't really take a sack. On first down, he'll drop to throw. We'll get up and spike. Yeah. Just get up and spike, take three, get seven after half, go for the two point, and make it a seven point game. Can't run? I can't run. I definitely can't run left. I might be able to run the ball, but I just clearly cannot run left whatsoever right now. Take control. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer. Polluting the pressure right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep. That's a beauty. That is a beautiful throw by Sanders. Just come on. Get seven, get the two point. From the gun, it's a give to It's just driving me crazy. I don't know. Big Quinn Williams, those, those two on the defensive line pretty much. <clears throat> those guys on the D-line pretty much make running impossible. Catch it in front of him. Yep, he's got a KO over there with Sauce Gardner, but if you catch it in front of him, that KO does not matter. So, you can get out. You can get out. Oh, goodness. he's got to just fall forward for me once. Yep. I did not mean to have to use a timeout, but I have to go for this. I don't want to have to use a timeout, but I do know that I have to go for this 100%. you got to take a seven-point lead here. This lead pretty much does nothing, and I feel like his offense is relatively high-powered. They'll look to throw. 
Oh, that's a bang bang play. Okay, five point lead is not. It's not great. It means that he can get a touchdown at two point and be up three points. That whole two point conversion was massive. I'm curious. He might actually try and clock us here. Yep. Bring the pain. They'll set up to throw. It's just such an easy read to give somebody in that spot. Like, how am I just giving up running back angles? Please, somebody, anybody. This this would pretty much seal the game because like I would be guaranteed three. Gotta try it here. He's back to throw. It's a snuggie. That's a snuggie if I've ever seen one. Great defense. Heads up, Nick. Sit him down, McCaffrey! Sit him down. That was beautiful. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. Could not come like that. Top five most clutch stiff arms. That's number one on the list every single time. Can we get a yard running the ball, please? That helps. Yep. We can take that to the two minute. Don't have to even snap. After the two minute, we can just run this thing out. I'm pretty sure he's got no timeouts. Go on conservative. Guys, this is this was a huge win. We have a tough schedule remaining. Every single game is 10 out of 10 important. I think if I'm pretty sure I can just run the ball and end this thing. He's got no timeouts. We can take 40 off out of time. They go with Chubb on second down. Up the middle, it's Chubb. Running for it, here's Chubb. And he will have a Big time win. Big time win against the playoff team. Confidence. Confidence stock way up. We won that game with great defense. Damon Payne. Miles Garrett, all of them. David Payne had the most crucial sack in the in that last draft of his. But that's a Marquis good win. Um, let's keep it up. That's gonna move him down in the playoff situation. We got the Chiefs coming up week 15. That's gonna be a tough, tough, tough matchup. So let's go. Okay, so the Bengals lost to Taylor. So that put us as oh my gosh, I can't escape this dude. I can't escape him. I honestly, I can't. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I, this guy, he's he's haunting me. We are always matched up, and it's driving me insane. I'll lose. I, I'm not playing him in the first round. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And I won't do it. Oh my gosh! How is 11 and two the three seed? How? That's what I'm trying to figure out. How on earth is 11 and two the three seed? Damon Payne is going to get an upgrade. Um, he's going to get speed rush, which is wonderful to see. Plus one block shedding. He's been pretty dominant this year, even though stats might not show. Like, I think last year he had like nine and a half. This year he's, he's not going to be at that, but still very productive. Plus one juke move for Percy Dixon. Um, Julius Chestnut, friend of the channel. Okay, week 15. Chiefs, Ravens, Bengals. This is our final stretch of the season. We could either drop to the seventh seed or we could win this entire thing and potentially even get the one seed if we can win all these games. This is a huge kind of turn point in the season. What are we going to do? We'll lock in, win games. There's no easy outs here. Um, these next two games, we're playing against three, playing against Mahomes, Lamar, and Burrow. Back to back to back. Three tough X-Factor QBs. <sighs> Wish me luck. I, I wanted to even look at Damon Payne's stats. Oh my gosh, eh, he's, he's leading the team. Miles is, I don't know what to do with Miles. Don't know. He'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. And it's intercepted on the first play of the game. It's oh Bubba Bolden who picks it. And he's able to get I suck. Here I really suck. First but the bottom half of the league and sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group 
Oh, that's an awkward animation. That's an awkward animation. They couldn't there, and it's an opening drive first down. Flushed out right. Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Dude, can someone turn up the brightness in the world? I can't see anything. A nice throw, I guess. I don't know. That was a dot. Okay. Horrible start on my part. Absolutely horrible start. Same thing I did last year against him. Just threw a boneheaded pick on the first drive. That's not normally my brand. So, shoot. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan, come and get your offense moving. There's a quick... Now back to throw. He'll buy some time. There it is. That, that's what I was looking for in the last one. I was just significantly too late to be throwing it last time. I don't know why I did. I threw it anyways. Way too late. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. They'll look to throw here on first down. Dak, it's second and 18. He's going to drop this. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Dog. Oh, that was. That is a beautiful throw. Kind of in between the zones. Love that. Love that. Love that. Just guard that. That's all he can throw is that stupid post run. I just don't know why I'm not running with it. Working from the gun, Mahomes. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He'll let this go for the end zone. Newsome. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna break something. That's a horrible read. He knows it, I know it, you guys know it. That's a horrible, horrible, horrible read. We see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up, they know. To throw, it's Mahomes. Nope. Okay, I thought he had that. Um, he's dialed right now. He's actually making a good amount of good reads. I I won't deny. I know exactly what he's about to run here, though, and I want to try and pick it. Because he's going to run that little power off there. Nice, Brett. Nice. Literally read that like a book. I just overran it. Oh my gosh, this guy sucks so bad. What am I doing? They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's gonna loft one deep left side here. McCaffrey. That's how you make a play, McCaffrey. He won right at the top of that route. Um, like right at the top of that route. He just won that. Super clean. I like that play a lot. Okay, you got Chris Jones to worry about. If I score here, I can go into half. If I score here, I can go into half with him having ball, but at least with a stop, I could take the lead. And even if he scores, I could potentially tie it up. Like, it's just, we kind of stay in the game with a touchdown here, and that's important to me to stay in the game. Oh, good run defense, bud. This guy's got the worst run defense in the world. If you want to watch another game against the same guy, um, I beat him in the Super Bowl. It felt pretty good on the channel as well, 14 up. 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. Flush to his right. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. I knew he was gonna, like, I knew he was considering throwing that. I just didn't think he'd actually do it. Mahomes now on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And now here's Mahomes. He'll check this one down. Real short. Third down. Do I try and blitz to prevent a field goal, or do I? I still got time on it. 
Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Okay. I think he's got a field goal here. He was worried about taking a sack in that spot. Okay, that's all right defense. I didn't play great there. He made Mahomes made a wild, wild, wild throw, but it is what it is. He gets ball at half, he's got a chance to take a 10-point lead. We're in a bit of trouble, but it's what it is. Oh man, Shadur Sanders be better. So they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch being able to be back. And now off to the races down the right side. Inside the 10. Okay, we got a game. Shoot. I feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two score game. Here's second and eight. They're going to look to throw. He's got his yep, target. good throw. They go up the middle with Chubb. And they'll drop to throw. This drive is just, it's imperative to score. I don't really know how else to put this. This has to be a touchdown. Oh my gosh, too many adjustments. Too many adjustments. He'll drop to throw. He got me. That might be GG's, bro. That might be GG's. Oh my goodness. This game is horrible. Okay, we got two games to bounce back. So after the INT, here's my They run it with Pacheco from the gun. On play action, it's Mahomes. No. Nope. Okay, fourth down. Hey, you never know. We can, like, put together a couple decent stops here. We got a chance. Yep, that's good defense. Okay, give me my ball. If you're scared, kid, just say it. Okay, Brett, score, man. Score, score, score. Yep. They'll set up to throw. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. They'll look to throw. Rolling to his Dot. Nice throw. Simple. Good throw. Do we onside? Do we onside or do we let him? I feel like he's stubborn. Part of me feels like he's stubborn where he might. Oh, I feel like I can stop him though. That's the thing. Maybe I will go on side. Okay, this way at least we got a chance. I'm gonna keep blitzing him a ton and hope that we can do something here. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. Looking to throw is Mahomes. They'll drop this off to Pacheco. Oh, that's not good. That's on me. That was that was my responsibility. He was he was my responsibility. Touchdown. Throwing now is Mahomes. Completion as a result. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. The clock, not giving them a chance to come back. The bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it. In ten now. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And they did. And off comes to Chubb. Okay, timeout. Need some dots. No mistake. Need some dots right here. Come on, Brett. Win this thing. Horrible game. If you can win games like this, I feel like we're going to set ourselves up for some success. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. He just keeps it and runs again. He's going to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be brought down. 
first down, they'll run with Chubb. Back to throw. Going out wide, finds Chubb. No way. No way. Good game. GG's, I guess. Oh my gosh. They got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. That's like the worst thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Okay, good game. Oh man, oh man. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's what I get for having Percy Jackson run the ball. Shoot. Stupid, 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 stupid. Um, we had the game one. Honestly, I don't know. It just dove into the end zone and got a wild fumble animation. But I do think Percy Dixon's a stud. I do think we, um, we have the right guy in that spot. But it's just an unfortunate, very, very, very unfortunate result. We get an elusive back upgrade with Percy Dixon as well. He's going to go up to a 79 overall, plus one awareness, plus one change of direction. Kalen Barnes gets an upgrade. Man, oh man, these losses are so they really, really, really are. But, okay. Um, this guy embarrassed us last time. So we can't get embarrassed again. Let's go. This will be returned from deep in the end zone. Nice. Oh, gosh. Oh, Roman freaking Wilson. Jackson, first play, going to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, Dude, everybody's torching me with that route. It's the trips tight end, just like roll out route. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. Polluting the pressure. Please don't let him get rid of that. Jackson now. Nice play with Denzel. That was amazing. This guy, why is everyone running the same thing against me? This league goes through phases. I feel like they know my trips tight end defense isn't that good. So everyone's now running trips tight end against me. Which is starting to drive me absolutely up the wall. And Jackson throwing once more. That's a book. Browns, I am gonna lose my mind. I'm honestly, I am going to snap. How is that not a pick? Oh my goodness. Okay. Go, McCaffrey. There it is. There it is, McCaffrey. Okay, I like that. Just get seven. I wish I could say we could lose this game, but honestly, we can't lose this game. Like, I wish I could look you in the eyes and say, yeah, this is this is fine either way. This is not fine either way. If this is a loss, we're cooked. With, like, who we play next week, the finale, like, this, this is everything. Trying that stupid little dive tackle that everyone does. Yep, right on the cut. Perfect. Perfect! Perfect, perfect, perfect execution. He embarrassed us last time. I do not intend on getting embarrassed by this dude. Back to back. We need this. Nope, KO. And it's still. Can I get a video? Can I get the video expert review on that one? Oh, nice throw. Caught my user just fading a little bit over and just threw it right behind. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. So stupid. Okay, we got a game. We got a game. Okay, we need, we need points before uh, 100%. 
You're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. You gotta slide. I threw like four picks on that same route against him uh, last time we played. I can't make that same mistake again. Please, he's got KO. You're done. They'll set up a throw. That's a clutch. To hold on to that ball is impressive. In that situation, to hold on to it, make a play like that is insane. He's got KOs and freaking players everywhere out here. That's a good play. I like that. Please, see? Yep. Yeah, you got it. Knew he was, I knew he was going to be open based on the defense. I knew there was a good chance we were going to be able to find him. 14-10. Lovely, lovely play. Go get seven, end this thing. Go get seven, end this thing. Put pressure on him. That's, that's the ball. That's the ball that Roquan was picking last game. He picked it twice. That same exact play he was able to intercept twice. Got to do everything in our power to not allow that again. Yeah, it's the first. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. Yeah, fall for it. He'll drop to throw. Yep. Judy's been here all game. Yeah, Judy's Judy has been there for us all game. This is as sad as that is, best passing performance of the year. I have three touchdown passes without a pick. That is so rare for this season. 21-10. Okay, dial it in, my friends. Nope. That's not a fumble. Oh my gosh. How is that not a fumble? Dude just throws the greatest pass I think I've ever seen. That was a beam. That was a beam. Beam, 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 beam. Are you running this or passing this? I've got so many people open there. Oh yeah, it's a three-point game. You can outside kick. We just got to take the time away and get the heck out of here. That's all I can say. Take the time away and get... Oh, he's not onside. Me personally, I'd onside. He's giving me a full field. I think he's pretty confident in his defense, which is rightfully so. But that essentially means I'm two first downs away from this thing being over. I don't want to score, though. Scoring helps him. Scoring helps him. I'd rather shoot on the one. At least I can get rid of a little bit of the clock. Mind you, he can get the ball back with a minute left no matter what. But yeah, at least that took off like 40 seconds. Thank you. GG's. Boom, we're back. Needed that win. Okay, this is for the division. I don't know. It would be like I've won the division three times and I've lost to him every single time. I feel like we're going to match up no matter what. I'm upset. I'm angry. It's week 17. I don't care anyone's feelings anymore. I don't care about nothing. At least we're not matched up. Thank goodness. Okay, let's go. Let's dance, guys. Okay, what have we done? What are we going to do today differently than we've done against him in the last couple of games? We're going to run the ball. We're going to get back to what we do. We're going to get back to our roots. Get back to what we do best. What I am known for doing. What we know that we are good at. We've struggled with it because of this little lame blitz that he does. But still, Nick Chubb, I feel like if I give him enough carries, we can break some big runs and we can do some good things. Take your checkdowns. He's blitzing you every single play. Don't forget that. 
He's going to be sending his entire team at you every single play. He doesn't know any better. He knows one YouTube blitz. He wasn't even a playoff player before until he found this blitz. So just know that. Be smart. Win the game. It's close. Fourth down. What would you guys do? What a joke. I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! It's just certain players. I just go through streaks where I couldn't... Oh my gosh! There's no way! I thought I had that. What kind of like Nick Chubb? You're he just gets... That's happened. That happened to me in the playoffs against him twice, where I've well, one one year, one the other year, where I ran the ball directly at him, and you see the results. Issue is here, he's he's killing clock, so I actually think that he might even strategically be trying to score with literally no time. Get ball at half and laugh his way out of here. That's my biggest fear right now, is that he's trying to score with zeros on the clock, which would be devastating. Yeah, he's killing clock on us. Bro, to be killing clock right now is, is insane. He legitimately has taken like three minutes with like three plays. There we go, Miles Garrett. Shut him up a little bit, Miles. Shut him up a little bit. He's so overconfident he's going to go to the same exact formation. It's just a matter of can we stop what he's about to do. Answer, no. Oh, that's just smart. Oh, okay. If, if he is going to chew clock here, I'm going to... Flip out! What a lame dude. I honestly, it's personal. I make one mistake and I'm not even gonna see the ball. It's got it, and then it became personal with me. If we if we see this guy in the playoffs, he I don't even know. I'm gonna lose my mind. Power to him, I respect it, but holy moly. He's short. Nice thing would be if we could just, if we could somehow stop him. That would be the beautiful thing here. If we could somehow manufacture a stop. He gets ball at half. Um, yeah, I got no. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Just poor performance. No rhythm. I could use every acronym in the world. This just wouldn't do it justice. Just horrible, horrible, horrible. Got him. Third down. Okay. This is this hasn't been our problem against him. Though. We forced third down in the past. It's been what we've done when we forced the third down. We just have not gotten anybody off the field. That's that's been our issue. Oh my, I'm I'm in trouble. Oof. Again, it's Burrow. Miles Garrett. I was about to say, if you don't get that. Just the easiest read ever. I think I backed. I think I backed him off too. But that's Xavier Worthy. Like the thing is, you had guard Jamar Chase and Xavier Worthy. That is no easy ticket. Shoot. See what I mean? Fourth downs. We're not getting off the field. When you don't get off the field on fourth downs, you're gonna have a long, long day. Okay, he's taking three. We got no time left. I need I need a quick, 
quick score and then a dude you need to touch grass oh ooh, gosh that was close 10 freaking zero try to shake off the interception he'll look to throw completes this to elijah higgins they've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score they're able to find judy I, I'm trying to keep my time out so that if I can score, I could maybe get an onside or something. That's that's why my timeouts are so crucial to me right now. I don't know. GG's in the chat. Good game. Guys, new year, new mindset. Uh, we took a forced loss to TSAP in the last week um, because I don't think it mattered much for seeding and he needed the number one seed and I had to leave, um, I was golfing. So that's why you did not see week eight, number 18, but we would see him again if all things kind of, depending on how things play out here. Oh man, where do I even begin? Um, this franchise has tested me. I think this is the worst regular season I've had in maybe a month on the game and I'm not proud of it. I'm not happy with it. I am not bragging about it it's just we won games we somehow made the playoffs but at the end of the day we really were bad and i have to own that and understand the fact that like that's got to change if i want to win anything if i want to be good if i want to win a bowl take this browns team to the chip it starts right now this is the moment this is the biggest moment of the season right freaking now beat the patriots get our first playoff win get Sanders a win, get everybody a win. Just whatever we gotta do to get this W, I think we have to do it. I really, really, truly believe whatever we gotta do, we gotta do it. Now, depth chart wise, you can see Sanders. Chubb's obviously gonna start. Dixon had that one fumble that was really bad for us. Judy, Horn, everything else is gonna stay pretty much the same. We're playing against the Patriots. This is a different user than you would've seen with the first Patriots, but still a very good user. Um, we went into the playoffs as the, I believe, the seven seed. So, yeah, they gave me that loss to Taylor, which dropped me to the seven seed, um, which is why we get to play against New England in this first round instead of the Bengals, which actually I don't, I don't mind that at all. I, not that I'm gonna win this game, but like if I had to lose three times in a row to the Bengals, I think I would lose my absolute mind. Um, let's go just quickly look through the, what should I do? Pass block power. We can boost that. Strength for the O-line. We definitely want to boost that. Defensive coordinator, offensive coordinator. Um, that's throw power, defensive stuff. I've used a lot of these. I don't know how I have so many of this because we really haven't, we haven't made it out of the first round yet. So I don't really understand how I have the amount of upgrades as I do, but I will take it. Uh, the Patriots roster is good, not great. That's kind of how I would describe it. I kind of feel like I need to just take the game out of my own hands and put it in Nick Chubb's hands. This is probably his last dance, no matter what. So I think we take this whole game, we say Nick Chubb, carry us. Carry us home, win us this game, get us out of the wild card, and we can go play T-Set. Okay, new playoffs, new mindset. It's all about the mindset. What are you gonna do in the playoffs? You got a rough regular season, you're barely here. Can you adjust better? Can you be better? Can you use her better? Can you overall just play better and win? Yeah, beg! Yes, sir! Good start. Scream. Every single play, sometimes twice in a play, we scream. Moving that guy over, that tells me that there's something weird. Put him over top, and I'm just gonna use her this. Put him over top. I'm gonna use her more. I'm gonna talk through my reads. I sometimes do best with it. Yeah. You good, bro? Back him on. Bam, fellas! Oh my gosh! Okay. Is this how the playoffs are about to go? Is this how our playoff run is about to go? I freaking hope so. I'm a new guy. I golfed in between this. These uniforms are sick. Good run. Yep. 
Honestly, why this needs to be our game plan for this entire playoff run. Run the freaking rock. Until you can't run it anymore and then you run again. Until we can't run it anymore and then we just run again. This is my game plan the entire playoff. I'll win running and I'll lose running. I don't care what happens. I literally, my game plan is run the ball every single play. That looks like my end coverage. Yeah. Should have Judy. Commissioner Judy! Beautiful throw. You wanna take you wanna take control of this thing? I really feel that way. I feel like I need a little bit of momentum. And even if I just get the safety from the first drive, that's good. But taking three here is just it's everything this season has been. This season has just been a big three points. Freaking laser! Oh my gosh! Don't blink. Don't talk about it. Snap the next ball. Oof. Go, go, yep, go, again. Nick Chubb, fight. Yep. Just doesn't go out of style. Nine, nine points, two possessions. Okay, excellent start, guys. Excellent, excellent, excellent start. Held him to zero, blitzed every single play against his bunch. He did not move an inch. Do I expect that to be the entire game? No, but am I happy that I was able to capitalize on that? The last two playoff games, I've literally started horribly. So to be able to start at least with some level of momentum is really cool to see. Push him back. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. So he switched to tight, it's more difficult for me to blitz tight. He might continue that actually. I bet he would try tight one forward, but I gotta back him off manually. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He's gonna slip. Back him off manually! Got there is no freaking way that he just threw that ball. There is no way that he just threw that ball. Back off. This time they were ready for it. Yeah, Denzel Ward! What? See, whoa, 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 that's a party foul. I thought, I thought uh, He got me, shoot. There we go, Sanders, that's a, it's an elite throw. Caffrey's getting open right on the cut. Yeah. Elevate. Elevate, 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 Shadur Sanders. Okay, back to the run game. If I get three here, we still get ball at half. I'm sweating right now. You have if I get first rounded again, this would be up there as one of the worst franchises I've ever done. I have no intention of letting that happen. Yep. Yeah. Fumble. Now back to throw. Oh, that's heart wrenching. Okay, I was very close to getting rid of that. Go, Sanders! You stud, man. Not going home. Beautiful. That's the clutchest play of his career up until this point. It's not saying much. We haven't had a lot of clutch moments in his career. Okay, get rid of that. Take your losses. Take your losses. Take your losses. Take your losses. You just, you just threw the worst pick I've ever seen in my life. Just take that is the game saying, Cleveland, I got you. Take your points and get your defense out on that field. Oh my gosh. Did not deserve that. I got lurked. I so did not deserve that. Okay. Whew, we're fine. I want to throw it to McCaffrey so bad. He burns off the line every single time. 
Yeah, start throwing that. It's just a confidence throw. He's burning off the line every time. Like, he's winning his first out cut. It's just a matter of trusting that enough to throw it, which I have not been. Fall forward, please. You might win the first step, but over time, Gonzalez is going to get back. That's a book. That's a book! Get out of here! Okay, seriously, Brett, run the freaking rock. Don't know why, but I cannot move to save my life. Yeah, Horn, you just caught the biggest pass of the season. Take the ball out of my hands. Holy moly. Just run. Yeah, go, please. Good job. First down, okay. Three points is a lead. On second down, it's Dixon. Dixon. That's a strong run. It's a big time run. Now on first, Dixon again. And out of bounds. Not much of an argument. Nick Chubb has been better at getting like the last yard. Please. Could the curse be broken? I don't know. I'm not getting my hopes up, but 19 to 7. We are in a much better position. We got a chance to win this. They look to throw now on first down. Back to throw Oh my! Oh my gosh! Did you see Springs? Tell me you saw Springs. Yeah, he's got nothing. He didn't catch that, did he? Guys, this one should be all over about the cry. And our pass rush honestly won us this game. The blitzing from our DBs, Miles Garrett, Springs, all of these guys together. We were really, he had two dropped interceptions. He has every reason to be a little bit upset. The curse is broken. People, the curse is broken. We won a playoff game. If it was the Bengals, I don't know if we win this game, but I will take it. I think we get to go play TSAP and a chance to knock off the number one seed. Imagine the confidence that that would do for us. Nick Chubb. <sighs> GG's, guys. Okay, thank you. We won a playoff game. Mindset, momentum change. Let's go. Okay, so going into this game, I decided that I'm going to prioritize... Something, I hired a new coach. I wasn't even messing around with that. I'm gonna boost speed for my QB. I'm gonna try and make Sanders a little bit more mobile. Um, the power running game, obviously important. Jukebox, all of the above. Change of direction, spin move, agility. Oh, the last time I played Taylor, I lost my mind. He blocked my kick. Don't remember the last time I was that mad in a long time. So. We need revenge. We gotta play against the number one seed. He didn't make the Super Bowl last time. He actually lost to the Bengals um, by quite a bit, I think. I don't remember how that game went exactly. But Bengals play against the Jets. I play against Taylor. It's, I think it's a similar style to what we just played. But the thing is, you can't really run against him. He's got Daniil Hunter. He's got two superstars on that line. I think his D DBs have gotten really good. I want to check and kind of see so we can get a better idea. But I think his DBs have gotten a little better um, than they were the first time I played him. He usually finds a way to get a lot of superstars at DB. Uh, what's my game plan? Thank you for asking. Thank you for the interview question. I'm about to find out if Percy Jackson is a superstar. Please, 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 please. Percy Dixon's a hidden superstar. I had a feeling. I had a feeling because he's just good. He had a really good overall. Okay, that's our best pick of the that's our best pick of the entire series. Um, let's go look at Taylor's team here real quick. See exactly what we're dealing with, just so I can have a better idea of kind of what I need to do, what I need to attack. Um, oh my gosh, he's got this Ollie Gordon guy. Yeah, all you see is superstars. Okay, his DBs aren't as stacked as usual. He's got Jaden Hicks. 
Beast. Oh no, no they are. Stingley, Burke, 97 speed, Jaden Hicks. And then he's got, this is, hey, I didn't hand pick this matchup. I didn't, oh my God. He's got Christian Harris to a 96. This dude needs to go outside. Oh my gosh, a 96 pass coverage linebacker. I hate this guy. Okay, let's go. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Forced out to his left. I like that play. Hey, I like that play to start. I think that, personally, I think that was a penalty. I, I don't know. I'm, did he not? Maybe he didn't. I thought I went out of bounds. I thought Judy went out of bounds. Like, oh no, he... That's athletic? That's an athletic start. See what he's got? He's got three... Is that two or three superstars on the defensive line? I think he's got Will Anderson on those, yeah. Yeah, he's got Will Anderson and nose tackle. Okay. Yep. Third and two. Yep, got him. Come on, Chubb. Fall forward, dude. They'll look to throw. Dot. Mr. Judy. All we care about on this first drive, guys, is seven. Seven yards. Like, just continue to move the chains and do what it takes to win the game. That's as simple as I can put this. Just do what you know you got to do. Oh, my. That's a touchdown, Sanders. A couple super wins for his guy, Laser. Bottom. Elijah Higgins, baby, playing mind games. I just know what he does. Every single time he comes out in Tampa 2, he's going to blitz his outside guy against my under center run. Guys, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to freak out, but that's our best drive in a very, 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 very long time. That felt relaxed. That felt in control the entire time. No mistakes. Perfect throws. His user was late against a very stacked defense. Okay. Love that. 7-0. Yeah, inside third of them. Stroud now on first and ten. Oh, he's gonna let this go for the nope. end zone. Heads up on that side though. And Stroud now to throw. And Diggs has it. And he's gonna play action. Stroud now. And got his man. Don't know exactly what happened on that left side. I kinda wanna watch back and see. It looks like Denzel Ward just got burned by like 20 yards. Okay. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go. And now off to the races. Here we go on second and 12. Flush to his right. Love that throw. I love that throw. Back to throw. Rolling to his right. Slide and bounce. Seven before half is ideal. He's only got one time out. Let's just make sure that we go into half of the lead. We saw his offense. Three receivers. There was a lot of really good things about his offense. A nerd, he's so good at that. Drives me insane how good he is at that. I really have to say, credit where it's due, there's nobody better at doing that than him. Oh my gosh. 
I'm devastated. I'm devastated on that. It was dumb. All on it. I, I tried to slide, but it was it was dumb. I thought I could just kind of run it in. Oh my gosh, we needed to at least we needed to leave that with a lead. That's all I can say is that we needed to leave that with at least some type of lead, and we didn't. Like, come on. Do any of you morons want to cover that? Oh, I'm just so mad at myself for that. Can't even explain. Luke needed that. Okay, him missing the kick helps. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. On third down, he'll drop to throw, escaping the pressure right. Yeah. Do I take three and make this? I think we take three and try and make this a three-point game. Um, take that as a win. Take three and make it a three-point game. Oh, goodness sakes, I'm mad at myself. Okay, can we get a stop? I believe we can. I think I got to chill out maybe on defense a little bit, run some less crazy looks, see if we can somehow manufacture something. Oh my gosh! Don't give him free plays! Okay, second attempt. A three here would be a huge, huge morale boost. No. You gotta be kidding me. Positive. That was a good defensive stop. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And getting this first and ten. Now this throw caught left side. We might be able to inside the forty, not quite to potentially force an onside kick down. here. He'll look to throw. They play. If I don't score, I don't even know what I'm going to say. I just have, I can't score. I, last time, I lost this game at the one yard line. Now I'm back at the, yard line, the one yard line with another chance to lose this game. 
Option that's complete. That's deep to right the line of scrimmage. They go with Chubb on second down. Okay. We had an onside kick chance. Of, actually, crazy enough, we got to hope at this. It's the hope that kills you, but... The Browns have some level of hope to end this game. One onside kick for everything. Never got one against Taylor in my whole life. Maybe some karma for the block kick. Oh, no, Tank Dell. Just, yep, just jump up. Good game. I played stupid, threw a dumb, ran into the O-line, ran into his D-line, fumbled at the one. We'll talk after. Jeez.